Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn? Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, good morning, how are you? Hey, it's wonderful to have your company uh, here on Sewing Street. Where are we today? Gosh, it's been quite an eventful morning before we even got to air, more of that anon. But it is wonderful to have your company here. I feel like I'm completely immersed in the Jubilee. It's all around me. We have got some wonderful Jubilee makes this morning. But um, listen, it's wonderful to have your company. Do please get in touch with the studio. Send us a message on Facebook. Email us. Let us know what you're doing today. How are things with you? How are things in your world? And can I give a quick special mention this morning to my mum, Rosemary, who's in hospital. Poor love. So I'm sending loads of love to mum, in, um, who's on Holly Ward, and all of the lovely staff who are looking after her as well. Thank you so much for taking such great care of my mum. She's a very special person. Mum will be watching this morning. Oh, she's got it all written down. Yes, yes, there he is. I told you he was on the telly. Oh, mwah. big loves, big loves. Let's start with our early bird. Now then, our early bird today is very much with the Jubilee in mind. Some great makes you could get out of this. You're getting a half a metre of this fabulous Union flag canvas weight fabric. Love this. Let me just hold it up so you can get a really good view. Now I love the way when you put all of those flags together and each individual one down there you can see, um, it starts to take on the look of almost a quilt, doesn't it? It's almost like a quilt. Um, love that. It's 100% cotton. Brilliant weight this for doing something like a table runner. 
Uh, you could easily just back that or even just hem the edges, to be honest. Could make easy table runners to go down the picnic tables for a street party. You could make big napkins out of that, cushions. You could make um, some great bags, perfect weight for bags as well. So you get half a metre of that. What about a lovely laptop case? I mean, not just about Jubilee, is it? I mean, I've done lots of things with flags on over the years. Um, just brilliant, love that. And then you're also getting this panel. So you're getting one full um, union, uh, you can't call it a union jack, can you? Unless it's actually on a ship or a boat. It's a union flag and then it becomes a jack when it's on when it's on a boat. We are on a big boat, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, I love that. Hannah, our producer, just said, but we are on a boat. We're on a big boat called Friendship. Oh, oh, I'm welling up. <laughs> love it. But what about a bag front? Yeah, absolutely perfect. Um, really super this. Now the price, are you kidding me? The price for the panel and the half meter is 898. And now we're going to early bird. Oh, there you go, 499, wow. I think you're going to need to be super quick to check out your basket on this because that is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, 4 99 for a couple of plastic table runners or a plastic table runner or, a, you know, a special commemorative factory made bag, um, you'd pay more than that. You'd probably pay 9 99 for that. You're getting your half meter and your panel for £4.99. Amazing. What about making some gorgeous cushions? I think because this has got quite, um, it's got almost like a sort of distressed shabby chic look to it, it has almost like a worn look. So what about mixing this with things like your Moda Grunge, your Tim Holtz, uh, that would work absolutely brilliantly. Even working it with your solids, it is absolutely going wild. Wild in the aisles. We haven't got aisles, but you know what I mean. Um, absolutely wild for that. Lots of you multi-buying. And I am thinking very much like, and I like a table runner that goes across the table, you know, so I'm sitting here, you're sitting there, and another one and another one, all down like a trestle table or a picnic table. That would look so cool. What about bobble trim down the sides? You know everything's better with bobble trim. You could also use something this for something like bunting. If you wanted to make quick and easy bunting and rather than going red, white, blue, you know, you could maybe alternate with some of these. That would look really cool too. And a great way of jazzing up if you're, you're going to be using, you know, the, the wallpaper pasting table like we do at Christmas or the picnic table for the children's table. Make it look a bit more jazzy, make it look a bit more special. What about using this actually to create like long slab cushions from the top of benches. Again, half the stock has gone. I'm gonna take a little pause just to say good morning to Teresa. Good morning, Stuart. Wishing Rosemary a speedy recovery. A bit gray here in Essex, but off for a first day in a new job. So catch up later, Teresa. <coughs> Fingers and toes. Have a great day. Um, Sue has got in touch to say good morning, Stuart. Good morning, good morning. A message from Kim across my bottom. Morning, Stuart. You look fab in your shirt. Thank you. I'm loving this shirt. I'm doing some crochet this morning. Get well soon, Rosemary. Lots of love from Kim. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could, yeah, you could cut this up um, because the flag has been arranged into squares can you see like the individual square let me just move my fingers over can you see you could cut those out what about cutting them out with pinking shears in a circle and then using them for jam lid tops I made some lemon curd last week check it out the recipes on my Instagram and Facebook and I put little fabric covers on that would look good strawberry jam what's more British scones strawberry jam 
cream. Let's not get into a debate about crap jam first or cream first. I nearly said cram, cram first. I just, I don't care which order you put it in, just cram it in. You know I'm not doing scones at the moment. Now, our lovely guest Susie has messaged in. Uh, morning, Stuart and team. Love being part of the friendship crew. Great fun always. Ah, oh, Susie, that's so cool. I'm going to make friendship bracelets for everyone. I'm going to do it in the break. I love it. I love it. Oh, super early bird today, four ninety nine for half a metre of the Union uh, fabric. It's a cotton canvas and you're also getting the panel as well. Amazing. Now, um, you know, if you've been watching this month, that every day in May we're doing a Shop to Win special prize. Now, today the prize is a set of pattern weights. A set of pattern weights from Quilted Bear. Now, literally, all you have to do today to be in with a chance to be in the draw for these is to shop with us. And actually, every single time you check out, you get a new entry into the prize draw. So if you shop with us three times today, you only pay one postage and packing, of course, but you'll get three entries if you shop three times into the prize draw to win these gorgeous pattern weights. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? and so much quicker than pinning. Now we have got lots of other Jubilee themed items in the hour. Remember you've already paid your PMP, so don't worry, we'll get to those. We've got loads to get through. Um, let's look at the menu and then I have a couple of other things I wanna just tease you with in a sec. So let's look at the menu. So first of all, 8 a.m. it's Jubilee makes and panels. At I don't know why I did the Queen's voice then. Um, that was sort of the Queen, it was kind of my attempt at a posh voice, but you know, my subjects and I. Oh, love her. 9am is the Linda Lotus bag with Kerry from Living in Loveliness. We've been having a good old chin wag this morning, me and Keza. Uh, at 10am, yes indeed, let me just remind you actually, last time Kerry was on with the Linda Lotus bag, it sold out very, very quickly. So you might want to jump ahead. That is already going into baskets. At 10 a.m. we've got sewing room tools. Now I just want to show you very quickly, if I may, two of my favorite picks from that hour. Now we have got the one inch gridded Vliseline. Now, this is the first time we're having it in meter pieces, so this is brilliant. If you if you know what this is, fab. Yours isn't, mine isn't a meter piece because I've already been cutting into it and playing with it, obviously. Um, couldn't resist. But we've got the gridded um, interfacing. I'll be demoing how to use this. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, stay tuned at 10 o'clock and I'll give you a proper demo of that. If you know what I'm talking about, hop on and get yours on pre-order because that is going to sell out very, very quickly. Um, if you want to make quilts like this, for example, oh, look at that. Now that's a free pattern on the Tilda website. That is amazing, isn't it? The internet is going wild for that. Um, gridded interfacing is what you need. I'll give you some more inspiration in the hour too. The other thing that we've got, which is a particular favorite of mine, is batting seam tape. Um, I love mine, it's absolutely super. If you wanna use up all those bits and bobs of batting and you don't wanna spend hours ladder stitching them together, it's on pre-order. It's the batting seam tape. Um, and it's actually from Bozel. It's made by Bozel. Uh, and so I've been using this for a few years. It's fab stuff. Makes joining batting super quick. No stitching. It's like a little heat and bond tape. It's really cool. I'll show you how to use that at 10 o'clock as well. But don't hang about. I will jump on pre-order. Get your batting tape. Um, one roll will do you. Um, leave some for other people. <laughs> and also your gridded interfacing. Um, really cool those. Now back to the menu. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. Kerry from Living in Loveliness is back with her sofa caddy. I've got it right here. This is absolute genius. So here's your, here's your, the arm of your sofa, yeah, or your armchair. We've got our lovely big roomy 
is this maybe a bit bag this may be keeping our EPP pieces in we've got pin cushion we've got snacks nachos it's washable um, I wouldn't put the salsa in there as well we've got a little zippy uh, pouch there we've also got lots of pockets for keeping tools handy and the whole thing sits there also this would sit on your leg um, or potentially I suppose on 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 the dog's back um, I'm kidding I'm kidding <laughs> Yeah, you know, if you've got, I was writing an article yesterday about crafting with your pets, you know, get the pets involved, love it. That's also from a panel, by the way, which we'll have in the hour. Brilliant, brilliant design. Um, can't wait to, to see how that's made. So that's at 11. Uh, and then at 12 o'clock, we have got sewing machines. We've got the Elna 680 Plus, but we'll also have loads of other things as well. Things like single and double-sided bosel in our form that's back in stock. We've also got some great scissors. We've got um, a special ruler, handle. We've got some great value threads, mini iron. If we've still got it, we'll have the batting tape on that show as well. But I think that's going to sell out really, really quickly. Um, some more lovely messages. Uh, Mary's got in touch. Good morning, lovely Stuart. I do hope your mum will be better soon. I spent a lot of money last time you were on and now I'm going to be spending again. You're a bad influence. Mary, Welsh Mary. Love you. Uh, Anna's got in touch too saying, good morning Stuart, lovely to see you on Sewing Street. Currently working on foundation paper piecing. Love it. Second time of trying to do it. I have unpicked and restarted so many times, lol. Uh, I'm making Victoria Pete's Kingfisher for my hubby's birthday tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday hubby. Well, I'll be on tomorrow, remind me. Um, it's his favorite bird. It won't be finished, which is a shame, but it will be done this week. Well, that's the good thing about birthdays, you know. They come, they come around every year. Yeah, It's just for his birthday, not necessarily this birthday. Claire's got in touch too to say good morning, Stuart, and all. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for your company. We've got a really packed morning ahead. Oh, someone dropped a clanger. Uh, it's a bit meerkatish, wasn't it? We've also, should just mention, we've also got Kerry's fabulous sewing pattern. Look at this fabric. Now this is from my gorgeous friend Paula, the crafty lass. You might follow her on um, the internet. Absolutely superb, isn't it? It's such beautiful fabric. This is a brilliant folder file for keeping all of your sewing patterns. It could be your knitting patterns in. You've got zippy pocket, clear pocket there. Previously sold out. This is a brand new colourway. It's absolutely superb. You've got all these little pockets in here for your tools. These are all double pockets here with a Velcro top. Um, you've got space under here to tuck things as well. Everything's held together um, nice and securely with Velcro as well. It's absolutely joyous. If you've started dressmaking or been inspired to dressmake by Sewing Bee, can you believe it's week three this week? It's all flying by, it's too fast, it's too fast. But um, maybe keep your dressmaking patterns in there. Really versatile, you won't just make one. So Kerry's gonna be showing this a little bit later as well. I think that's at nine o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely fab. Let's get started. Let's talk about how you can buy and how you can get involved this morning. Now you can get in, oh, I was waiting for some fancy graphic to come up on screen then. Did you see I did that lovely? Put it on now. You can eat, well, right, then I'll just do it. You can email us. Thank you. I'm running out of life here. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Marvellous. <laughs> you can contact us through Facebook. Sewing Street TV, or you can go to the website and you can send us a little message there. If you click on watch live, you can then send us a lovely message. There you go. There you go. Send us a message. Hello. Hello. How are you? You warmed up. Um, and then if you look below, you'll be able to see our early bird. 
that is absolutely flying out the door be quick for that won't you then pre-order and you can see here I'm going to be showing you in just a sec all our wonderful Jubilee makes we've got some fabulous things there from Sally Ann Harrison uh, you can see there the quilters batting tape is um, on yes it's snuck up on us there for some reason we've got the lovely mode de la vie bohème some gorgeous little bundles as well if you fancy a little small collection of that too um, and I'll show you my quilt using the Vibo M as well. And then we've got lovely patterns and notions from Living in Loveliness. There's the um, Lotus bag in that colourway. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Really nice, really nice. Love these new fabrics from Craft Cotton Company with the Crafty Lass. Um, and then we've got Celtic Dreams as well, also in this morning show from Lewis and Irene. There's the gridded interfacing. Absolutely brilliant stuff, this. It's a one inch grid, but you can use it in so many different ways. I'll be giving you a demo. Lots of you are already buying that. You're getting a meter piece. Uh, a superb, brilliant, brilliant stuff. And, and you absolutely can join that. So you're not restricted to only making small things or with small pieces either. It's very versatile. Lots of essential tools. Lovely Dresden ruler there. If you're following me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll know I've been using the Dresden in the last few days. Now we've got some K facet extra wide backing fabrics. If you're a K fan, uh, great opportunity to get extra wide backing there. And then more notions from Kerry. There's the folder. Um, and uh, lovely zip sets, lovely patterns, all sorts on that hour. Now there are the caddies. There's the Bosel in our form. Jump ahead. We've also got 505 back in stock. So grab your can while you can. See what I did there? And then we've got our um, Elna 680 Plus Mini Iron. So much in this morning show. And let's begin. Let's begin. Now, very much in the Jubilee vein. You know, as head of the bunting committee, red, white and blue, red, white and blue. You really, really can't go wrong, can you? And whether it is for the Jubilee, bunting, napkins, tablecloths, cushions. I mean, you don't have to piece these. You could just have red, white, blue cushions. Throw them on a bench in the garden. You're ready, aren't you? Pour yourself a little Prosecco. You know, are you with me now? Are you with me now that I mentioned Prosecco? A few bubbles in a glass and you're ready to celebrate. Uh, if you want to celebrate Bastille Day, that we can do that too because we simply put blue, white and red. Now suddenly we're there, we're in France, we're in Paris, France. We could do the Stars and Stripes for 4th of July. It's the 4th of July, you know. I've no idea where that accent was meant to be from, but <laughs> I think I was vaguely sort of, you know, Chicago, but I probably grew up a little bit in New York. <laughs> terrible, isn't it? Terrible, terrible. I was living out of a suitcase. But what you're getting here, it's a little bundle. You're getting a half a meter of red, half a meter of white, and a half a meter of blue. And they're the perfect shades, aren't they, for creating. Maybe you've got my book, uh, Use Scrap Sew Blocks, Make 100 Quilts, and you want to make the Union Jack Quilt. This would be a great starting point. Maybe you've got Simple Shape Stunning Quilts. There's also a Union Jack Quilt in there. Maybe you want to do a bit of a nautical theme and it's very much sort of blue and white with just a little bit of red, a little bit of red piping. That always looks great too. Half the stock has already gone. We're constantly remaking this bundle because it's such a popular one, but absolutely perfect for now. I remember the Silver Jubilee in 1977. Okay, I'm going back now, I'm going back. But my mum 
mum i'm sure you remember this made a red white and blue apron that she wore at our street party we've got lots of pictures of her wearing it kind of little waist apron with a frill all around the edge and that was all red white and blue and it was just perfect and i think as well she had like a rosette that she had in her hair that she'd also made just gorgeous Remember, these are photographs that we'll keep forever, won't we? And we'll all remember celebrating the Jubilee together. So make some special things. What about making some gift bags? If you're having a little bit of a party and you're having gift bags or placemats maybe, what about personalising them so that everyone can take their placemat or their napkin home? They'll even help you clear away. Some what? Sorry for the confusion, but Hannah's just telling me we've got some panels. What? Some, some panels. Some panels. Should we do purple first? Okay, fine. We'll do the red, white, and blue. Now, some of these you can get separately, but not all. But there is a great deal on buying the bundle. Now, let me just show you what you're getting. Should I open these out, or do you have a picture? Hmm, I can open these out. I can open these out. Oh, these are ace. Now then, we've done our lovely, our usual way you get your four different panels. Look at these. These are fab. I love the corgis. Can you see the corgis there? Just brilliant. Absolutely lovely. And you've got little rows of um, soldiers. You've got the orb. You've got uh, lots of things that say the Jubilee, little mini flags as well. Absolutely brill. So you're getting 18 two and a half inch strips. Uh, there's also hexagons, there's five inch squares, and there are fat quarters. But remember, they're bigger than normal fat quarters. Absolutely fab. The whole bundle is 54.97, and you're saving 14.99. Let me just show you the gorgeous five inch squares. How much fun are they? Again, I love the corgis. Let me just pop it down on the table for a second. Love, love, love the detail on this. Now, again, we were talking earlier on about table runners, things like that, or cushions. I and mean, there are so many options here. Of course, you can cut these apart and repiece them. And you can cut other shapes out of them. But also, if you wanted to just cut out nine, move that over. If you just wanted to cut out, say, nine of these, or 12 of these and make a rectangle, layer it, quilt it, bind it. There's your placemat. You could layer and quilt the whole thing and, and create a table runner, bind it with either the red, white or blue from our solids bundle. Um, you could even use that to piece the backing. That would look fab, maybe in wide strips, five inch wide strips, five inch finish, you know, sew them all together and back it and then it's reversible so much you can do with these panels again what about cutting out a circle with pinking shears and using that as a jam pot cover make some commemorative jam do you love a commemorative jam or a commemorative lemon curd it's all about lemon curd in my house at the moment um, so those are the squares then you're also getting hexagons now the hexagons you get 60 on the panel which is incredible value, absolutely amazing. And again, sort of similar images there. You've got the corgi, the crown, the orb, uh, Buckingham Palace as well, of course. The soldiers with their, they call them bearskins. Very big hats. They're probably not hats, are they? But you know. A lovely message. Oh, there are never enough corgis. Love them. I love a corgi. They're cute, aren't they? Really sweet and um, devoted companions for our Queen. Although I do love the fact that Queen Victoria had Brahma chickens in Buckingham Palace running around the corridors. She did. She did. I have a, I have a Brahma chicken called Anna. She doesn't run around my corridors, though. My goodness me, no. I haven't got footmen cleaning up. 
Um, no. And then, of course, our fat quarter panel as well. Good morning, by the way, to Margaret, who says good morning, everyone, and also to Jan. Good morning, Stuart, and everyone. Morning to you, Jan. Looking forward to Kerry's demos. She's got lots planned. Lots planned. And these are our fatter quarters. Oh, now then. Never enough corgis. I, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Look at that. And isn't that a gorgeous colour combination? I love that. I just want enough of that fabric to make a shirt. That's all I ask. Love that. And then you've got crowns and orbs. You've got that fabulous one with all the kind of, you know, Buckingham Palace. And that's rather fun, isn't it? Gorgeous. And um, what about lovely tea cosies? in these um, different fabrics that would be fun if you're having a special tea party you could do a whole set couldn't you lovely placemats and um you know something that you can put the cupcakes on maybe like a lovely you know just just cut a circle of paper like a dinner plate fold it into eight cut like a curve so it creates when you undo it almost like a flower shape with just like a gently curving edge and then layer that with one of these fabrics, another fabric on top, right sides down, and a piece of batting, and then sew all around the outside edge, leave a little gap and turn, or even split the backing, and sew all the way around the outside edge so you can turn it through a split in the back, um, and then top stitch around the edge, and just create a lovely little mat that you can put your little pile of cupcakes on. So many lovely things, so many lovely things. Do have a look on the website because we've got other panels that are available on their own in the gorgeous, gorgeous purples. Love those. That is really gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, yum. Now, red, white and blue, a different take, a different take. The quilt actually that's hanging behind me is French General and it is their brand new range which is called La Vie Bohème and um, did this show last week with Vix. It's an absolutely beautiful range. 29th we did this show together. Uh, was it really? I thought it was last week. Was that last week? Oh the... Ah, uh -huh. okay. Oh right, 10 days. Gosh I thought it was only last week. It does fly by when you're having fun. Um, really lovely range of fabric. This lovely soft madder red, pearl, that lovely soft blue, and then tan and cream. Very soft and restful, but still got that lovely, it still sort of fits in, doesn't it? But also just very beautiful for, for home decor and for quilt making. We've got um, just three of these mega bundles left, and that's all we've got left. All right, there's nothing else for making bundles out of, I'm afraid. Let me just show you what you're getting in here. It's absolutely delightful. In total, total number of fabrics in there, you're getting um, eight and a half meters. No, sorry. Yeah, eight and a half meters. So 17 different fabrics. Uh, so let me just show you these wonderful blues that you get there. And then that's one of my absolute favorite fabrics. You get half a metre of each of these. And they're a lovely range of scales. Love that cream, it's just beautiful. If you're a big French General fan, French General have been working with Moda now for I think about eight years. And um, have brought out some beautiful collections. A lot of them have been red and cream, red and tan. Lovely that there's this little bit of blue in here. It really does add a lovely extra dimension to the range. Aren't they beautiful? Just a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. Uh, I so enjoyed working with them and making the quilt. The quilt, by the way, is from my book, uh, Make 100 Quilts. It's Blackford's Beauty, but it looks so different to the one that's in the book. There are now only two of these mega bundles left. Well done for getting yours. You're gonna love that. This fabric here, I just think is stunning. I use this for the cornerstones, but great for bag making too. There's some really classy prints in there. Um, as I say, if you wanted to make something for to celebrate Jubilee, but something that you would keep and still use. 
you know, maybe you've got something else planned with this, but you could still make some gorgeous little bunting, you know, just very quick and easy bunting for the garden out of your scraps and leftovers. Now, there are quite a few more of these in baskets than we actually have. And these are literally our last two. Um, so when they're gone, that will be it. We can't make any more bundles. Good morning, Patricia in Blackpool. Lots of love to you. Thanks for messaging in. Now then, if you want a smaller bundle and you're loving the reds, we've got you covered. We've got you covered. Um, I've got them right in front of me. So let me just pop that mega bundle out of the way. Okay, this is lovely. Very beautiful. Three half meters for 22.47. Really lovely mix of scales in this one as well. You've got that beautiful large floral. And just to give you a sense of scale, you see my hands there. So beautiful for things like cushions, I think, or bags would be lovely. Great for making a little mini quilt as well. You could mix this with red work. If you enjoy doing red work, you could do some red work embroidery and then add some borders or piecing around it using these. And I would just throw in a little bit of cream, a little bit of seeded natural, a bit of Osnaberg. Now, the mega bundle that I showed you has now sold out. So if you do want to get your hands on these gorgeous brand new fabrics from Moda La Vie Bohème, uh, designed by uh, French General, and using as their inspiration fabrics that you would find in late 19th century Latin Quarter of Paris. There's always a story behind French General's collections and they're always based on historical pattern books and swatches or fabrics, quilts that they've managed to unearth and um, just been inspired by. There are only eight of these bundles left so if those are in your basket do check out. We are seriously, seriously low on quantity. I'm, to be honest with you, I'm amazed we had any left um, when we, from when we launched because such a gorgeous range of fabric. Now we've got another little uh, bundle of three half meters. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics in here. I love that there's a mix. We've got some red and we've got just a little bit of that blue in there as well. Now I'm actually just making some Christmas stockings and I am actually using my scraps of this range to create them. I'm mixing in a few other reds from my stash, a few other creams and I'm mixing a little bit of this blue in as well and it is really coming together. I'm loving it. Half a meter of each just gives you a oh gorgeous sense of those wonderful sort of reproduction fabrics and they're not strictly reproduction fabrics because they're recolored, resized. Just amazing, just amazing, beautiful. Morning to Sarah by the way, you sent a lovely message on Facebook, morning Sarah. And a lovely message at the bottom of the screen too. Good morning, Stuart. Loving the fabrics this morning, brightening up a dreary day with fabulous colours and designs. Keep them coming from Celia. Oh, you know I will, Celia. You know I will. What are you working on right now, Celia? Some gorgeous crochet? Mm, special project? So many lovely things to do right now, aren't there? Oh, love it, love it, love it. Um, that is La Vie Bohème from French General from Moda. That's all I can show you. There just isn't enough left, but jump online, jump online. Now, another absolutely just super essential, I can never have enough of this, a two meter bundle of solid white. And it is a gorgeous, brilliant white. Stock wise of this, not masses, we've got five of these, that's all, just five. You get two meters of fabric in your bundle. If you multiply, you will get two separate or three separate two meter pieces, they've been cut. Um, yeah, we're all fighting for white at the moment, such a useful color. Brilliant, of course, for the Jubilee, we need that white in there. Great if you're making table covers, tablecloths. Uh, if you use it as a background for quilting, I use white a lot. It's also great as a backing fabric too. You can dye the white fabric. I was 
wash it first um, just to remove any sizing before you try and dye on it but yeah great base fabric too but just super useful great for bag lining amazing price as well 14.99 lots and lots of you taking advantage of that we only have three of these bundles left our lovely message from sue wishing mummy hillard best wishes for a speedy recovery oh, thank you i've spent all weekend with her she's in such good hands though um in scarborough the nurses and the doctors who are looking after her are absolutely wonderful gorgeous dr thomas is being wonderful and the wonderful nurses as well lovely hazel thank you for looking after mum so well uh now natural seeded another great staple fabric 14.99 you're getting a two meter piece here now again if you want to do things like you know we've talked about table runners quite a lot this morning a backing for your table runner very very affordable price isn't it for two meters um it also makes a great uh background fabric or coordinate fabric to use with your your prints if i just grab some of the french general and pop it there next to that seeded natural it is perfect it's very much like i mean it's 100 percent cotton quilt weight cotton um, but it's very much like the natural calico that a lot of the vintage especially the vintage american quilts were made you know it's kind of you know made on the prairies you know pioneer quilts um it was a lot of sort of seeded natural calico this is a seeded natural cotton um pieced with scraps of fabric so if you love that look you want a country look perfect also absolutely fantastic for doing things like lining bags with as well it really is fab nice bright interior for your bag so you can see where everything is um, just to remind you as well that gorgeous bundle of French general with the blue in there are now three three left just three the other bundle of the three reds seven of those left bit more of the red no oh no oh no oh no we're changing our mind as we speak this is live tv folks there's four of those left there's four of those you're keeping me on my toes today. It's because I yawned earlier on, isn't it? <laughs> it didn't. All right, smashing. Now, we do have the Aurifil. A gorgeous, gorgeous thread collection. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I saw this last week and I thought, Jubilee, I was Jubilee collection. I was expecting red, white, and blue, but then I opened it and I was like, "Oh, actually, oh, that is gorgeous." And of course, actually, these are the colours for the Jubilee, aren't they? For the platinum Jubilee, which I think there has only ever been one other platinum Jubilee, and I've got a feeling it might have been the King of Thailand. Can I open this? Can I take them home? <laughs> they are absolutely delicious colours. Let me just show you that. So beautiful. Look at those. Really lovely. So you've got a couple of really soft greys. You've got those wonderful lilacs and purples. That is absolutely gorgeous. White, little variegated, almost like the colours of shells. Um, and then a tan and these gorgeous rich golds. That is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um now you're getting 200 meters of thread on each reel not 100 like 200 meters or 220 yards it's a 50 weight thread so absolutely perfect for piecing but i mean goodness me it needs to go on the front of something doesn't it top stitching applique quilting sewing on your bindings do gorgeous top stitching dressmaking it's 100 percent cotton of course absolutely beautiful and a lovely little collector's collection isn't it collector's edition a collector's collection <laughs> that's what i like to call them a collector's collection uh, donald's got in touch to say morning stewart my shirt 
thank you. Uh, two things, when are you back on YouTube? And what's the name of your farm? Um, the farm's called Willow Farm. And um, when am I back on YouTube? Gosh, I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, it's, fit, it's fitting it in, it's fitting it in. I need to though, I do love doing it. But I do get to do lots of demos here, talking of which I will be showing you how to use the Quilters gridded Vliseline interfacing. Amazing, genius product, genius product. Even if you don't know what it is or why you'd use it, buy some because as soon as I show you, you'll love it. Um, and also the batting joining tape from Bosal as well. Again, amazing. Quarter of the stock of that has already gone. It's the kind of thing you want in your stash it is such a brilliant like saver in you know the things you buy that actually save you money in the end because buying that means you can use up all those strips and bits and bobs of batting that are just sitting there and you really can't face stitching them together you don't need to a question we have a question what book is the pattern for the quilt on the wall from please from christine who's in essex okay so the quilt behind me is from you scrap sew blocks make a hundred quilts it is pattern number 71 which is called blackford's beauty um the quilt in the book is bigger more blocks it's 16 blocks this is just four and um the only other adaptation as well is in the book the center square here is actually a square on point there's a bit more piecing and all i've done is cut that out as a whole square but you could do either but yeah that pattern's from simple sh uh, from you scrap sew blocks make a hundred quilts. Now then, mm, we have a tote bag panel. Now I did see, got it, got it, when it's all folded. <laughs> so this is a panel to make a tote bag. Oh, but it's in red, white and blue. So this is the bag but not the colour. So double-sided and all fabulously lined as well with your handles. You get everything on the panel. Let me just open it out so you can have a look. This is the purple version. Now I am a big fan of red, white and blue for Jubilee, but I'm loving, loving these purples. That is, that is, oh, sorry. That is really rich, isn't it? absolutely gorgeous it's a bit different it's a bit different i'm starting to think now that i should be including purple in my bunting for the village party can i go rogue could i do red white blue purple red white blue who knows who knows love it uh, that panel is 19.99 and remember you get everything not just for the outside of the bag but also for your lining as well facing around the inside of the top of the bag the handles the whole thing really cool of course you could use it for other things too if you wanted to make some cushions instead you could use it for cushions you get a couple of cushions out of that um you could make a little wall hanging mini quilt yeah I like, a, I like a panel as a starting point, especially if a panel's got, you know, potential. You might even combine it with one of the other panels that we've got. What about sewing with the grandchildren or your children? Yeah, it's something that um, doesn't require a lot of making, but produces something at the end which looks really worthwhile. You know what I mean? Great, I love it. Maybe you're looking after the children over that bank holiday weekend. It's a long one, isn't it? Is it four days? Lovely. Very nice. A message from Mike. Uh, good morning. Love the shh. You try to, you're asking me to stop talking, Mike. I just, I just love the shush. Do you love the shirt? <laughs> Thank you. I do what I can, I do what I can. I think it's from next. Uh, I just offer that up. Right, purple squares, purple squares. Yeah. 
Now this is one of our five inch charm panels. So you get 45 inch squares on these panels. Very, very versatile. Love the little white line that's around everything as well. Isn't that vibrant? It really is. You know that make of chocolate? It's that purple, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, Donald has also asked, Stuart, another question. Could the quilt behind you be done using the Gemini cutting machine? Donald, I think it could with, a, with some adaptation because it's based on squares, rectangles, strips. So I think, I can't say for sure, but I think if you'd got the builder block, um, I think potentially you could, and there's some strip dies you can get for Gemini. I mean, you could adapt the pattern, but certainly you could get the majority out of it, depending on what sizes you'd got. They might be bigger or smaller blocks, but yeah, the basic principle, you, you definitely could. Thanks for that question. I do love a bit of die cutting. That panel, $14.99, amazing price for that. And if you want some quick makes, don't cut this into the squares, you know, cut out whole big panels. What about making a tea cozy featuring those squares quilt in the white lines between them? It'll look pieced and um, yeah, easy, quick and easy. Oh, Mike's message, the rest of the message. Here we go then. Good morning to you all. Love the fabric and the quilt on the wall. Love it. Mike in Somerset. Thank you, Mike. So not the shirt at all. My bad. <laughs> Who wouldn't like this shirt? Now, morning. Please, when you're demoing the grid, uh, I have to go out, so I need to record. Uh, well, when are you demoing the grid? I'm going to be demoing the grid in the 10 o'clock hour. Um, but remember, of course, if you don't get to video it, you can always watch back on YouTube as well and see the demo. Love your show always. Thank you, Wilma. Wilma, it's my pleasure. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the um, Vliceline one inch iron on gridded uh, interfacing. Absolutely brilliant. Don't be put off by the one inch, by the way. You don't have to use it as a one inch. You don't have to use it as squares either. Um, it just gives you masses of choice. It's that small building block and you can expand from there. Now, if you want to have a uh, shop ahead on that and grab yours before it all goes, go to www.sewingstreet.com uh, and then go to watch live, scroll down and then if you go to pre-order and then scroll down you'll find that gridded interfacing. And, and stop. There you go. There it is. There it is. Um, it's 80 centimeters wide and you're getting a meter piece. Those are pre-cut? No. Hmm? Oh, they are pre-cut, yeah. So it's pre-cut, 80 centimetre by one metre piece, but rest assured, you can, you know, make a block and then join it to another block, no problem at all. You can make a king-size quilt out of gridded interfacing if you want to. You can join the pieces together, no bother at all. I'm going to be showing you how to use it in the 10 o'clock hour. If you want to jump ahead and get yours, that's the way to do it. Now then the other purple panel this is the fat quarters oh no oh 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 I'm loving this I'm loving this oh that is cool so this is Delphine Brooks Union Jack cushion oh you can use this with her instructions or you could create your own cushions out of it um, I think it is the one on, no, not quite. No, it isn't. No, but anyway, this is really cool. So you've got different prints on this. I'll just move this over so you can see. Um, Delphine does foundation paper PC, but there's all sorts of ways. And actually, if you if you want a pattern, um, if you've got my book, uh, Use Scrap Sew Blocks Make 100 Quilts, 
there's a foundation paper piece pattern in there for a union flag um, which works really well for a cushion so you're getting these long rectangles I'll show you the size of them but this is these are the fabrics these four and then you also on the end of the panel you're getting two images of Her Majesty different crowns then you're also the stamp lady the, you may recognize her from a stamp um, the crown as well the crown and then also these these are great um, this would be really nice to use in the center of a Dresden wouldn't it as the circle they would work very very well and then rectangle wise can you see that's the size of each of the rectangle fab fab 100% cotton of course uh, the one inch squared interfacing is so easy to use even get tiny cup mats loving the show before work from Carolyn oh Carolyn have you got to go to work I'm saying that you, you might absolutely love work I love work I love going to work because I sail on the friendship that is sewing straight oh it's beautiful Oh, we'll have a good day at work, Carolyn. And thank you for your comment about the gridded interfacing. Yeah, I mean, if you use it as one inch, it'll sew down to half inch squares. Um, but you can make bigger. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You've got so much choice and options with the one inch gridded. It's fabulous stuff. Now then, what else should we look at? Oh, yes, 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 yes. The London Soldier mini quilt yes now i'm just going to move slightly out of the way can you see um he's right there isn't he cute gorgeous from sally ann harrison i love all the detail i love that tash that's very on trend right now isn't it it's all about the big tash Oh, Jill's off to Zumba at 9.30, so we'll catch up with YouTube. I used to teach Zumba and Zumba Aqua. Oh, yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of that. It was better when I did it, you know, obviously, but. Um, Sally Ann Harrison, London Soldier Mini Quilt. Really cute, this. Really cute. So in this bundle, you're getting all of your fabrics. You're also getting your pattern. Fabric-wise, you get a uh, half meter of, of cotton fabric. You get a fat quarter of wool felt, a fat quarter of a different color wool felt. Actually, you get, you get loads of wool felt. So you, there's your um, solid. You're getting your 100% wool felt red, you're getting an ecru, you're getting a black, and then you're getting your background fabric as well. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, you're getting a lot of red wool felt and you're only having to make the coat and a little bit for the crown. So you don't need much of this. So you could actually combine this with fabrics for your stash and make a whole big quilt featuring um, London soldiers. Full pattern. Uh, do you know, I've never ever been properly past Buckingham Palace. I, I mean, I've, dri you know, I've driven past or, you know, been on a coach or a bus or whatever and gone past. But I've never actually been there and seen the changing of the guards. I've never, some people try and make them laugh, don't they, the soldiers, which is terrible. Um, I say Hannah's just revealed that she was there once and one of the soldiers was there asked her what time she finished work say Hannah our producer used to drive a golf buggy on the forecourt of Buckingham Palace um, don't ask um, in fairness she didn't um, but <laughs> <laughs> wow okay interesting interesting so there we go that's lovely the grenadier guard some gorgeous details there absolutely gorgeous details so that's a bundle from sally ann harrison it's 29.99 to make your mini quilt very very nice for these important celebrations 
Now you can also get the instructions on their own. So if you want to source your own materials, or you've already got the right materials at home, or you want to freestyle it, you can get those instructions. They're $9.99, and you do get full instructions. Lots of pictures, and lots of step-by-steps. It's almost like a mini book. Love all the embroidered detail. All there, absolutely fab. Yeah, really good, I like that very nice um, and of course you could extend that if you wanted to make it bigger you could add some piecing around the outside you could add extra borders as well you could create a cushion out of this you could maybe add a bit of piecing down either side to sort of square it up a little bit that would look cool very versatile all right we're gonna have to go to break when we come back, we'll be living in loveliness with Kerry. Can't wait for that. So I'll see you after the break. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet, and all things yarn? bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools.
and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello there. We're living in loveliness. Oh yes we are. This hour is all about living in loveliness with the gorgeous Kerry. Hello my darling. Nice to see you. It's really lovely to see you <laughs> and lovely to have you back. It's been a while since we've done a show together hasn't Ages it? Ages since you and I have. Second day was our last show. And we're show. allowed Your to get day. together now as well. <laughs> hey up on Bumpsy Daisy. Uh, loads of lovely demos from Kerry coming up. Fab to have you here. Loads of lovely products as well 
Now, um, everything that we've got on the show today have all been previous sellouts. So if you got your, your um, kit last time and you absolutely loved it and you want some more, today's the day. If you missed out last time and uh, you've been desperate to get your hands on Kerry's Lotus bag or the fabulous sewing pattern uh, folder, today's your chance and some great demos coming up as well. Now let me show you just everything that we've got um, on the show today and also a bit later on as well. So starting off with Kerry's Linda Lotus bag. This has been so popular Kerry. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous you've got your toggle and a ribbon tie i love these little petals that all go around the outside of the bag just so cute these little petals pretty petals on this drawstring bag and then the cleverest bit of course is that everything opens out now absolutely wonderful for your threads Great as a little sort of cat. It was a bag and then it's a caddy, isn't it? You know, everything in there might be your English paper piecing, could be where you store your threads. This could be where you're keeping your current Lego project cars as well. in. My son's got his cars in here. Exactly right. It could be for makeup. Perfect for it? makeup because you could, can spread it right out yeah, and see exactly what It could what be your got. nail polishes and your nail kit. It could be grooming kit in there a little comb a little cat toy you know keep everything in there it's just whatever you want it to be but it's an absolutely gorgeous little project i love how it sits on the table as well super clever and super easy we've got to some move. bundles for the linda lotus bag we've also got the pattern available on its own it would also just make the most gorgeous like almost like a flower girl bag for a wedding the last time we, we did this actually last month uh, lots of people wrote in to say they've made these for little flower girls perfect isn't it it's so pretty i wish i'd have realized when i got married i made the most complicated thing for our flower girls and this would have been perfect and yeah nice it's and beautiful easy to sew. really lovely really smart it's almost sort of origami-ish isn't it um yeah i love that absolutely super so that's one of our makes that we've got two different options as well in the kits then we've also got the equipment roll accessory roll. the accessory roll again i mean this is superb now used here for things like friction pens scissors could be your seam ripper the grim ripper <laughs> 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 yeah love that all kind of protected this could be makeup brushes this could be your um pens pencils yeah i was just thinking sort of like felt it posh yep. felt it pens um and then of course when you want to store everything when you're traveling your mobile sewing kit you can roll it up and then um tie it up with the ribbon it's absolutely gorgeous and if you're loving the fabrics these are brand new from my lovely friend Paula the crafty lass with craft cotton company and the kits that we've got today from living in loveliness all use these joyful just gorgeous fabrics isn't that stunning absolutely lovely so that's our accessory roll I will pop that to one side then we've got the sewing pattern file this is genius. This is absolute genius, isn't it? Love it. It's almost like a little attache case. <laughs> but for the things we want to put in it for work, thank All you. All our pretty projects, our to-do lists. <laughs> exactly. You can keep your boring business notes <laughs> and your training manual, thanks. I just want something gorgeous for my sewing patterns. So I love that. You've got this Velcro flap and then everything opens up. Now, let me just take this out for one second. So you're gonna use a file, a standard file? Just Yeah, just a standard yeah. A4 file. Yeah. You get those from WH Smith or any stationers. And then inside, what a brilliant collection of pockets. So you've got a vinyl pocket here, clear, clear vinyl pocket here with a zip. Easy to sew with? Easy vinyl. to sew with. Yeah. yeah, fab, love that. So there's your little um, vinyl pocket there. You've also got um, extra space in here as well, should you require it. Here you've got, 
I suppose almost like a little mini accessory Absolutely, role, yeah. isn't it? Same principle. You've got all these different pockets. This would be brilliant for knitters and crocheters as well, uh, not just for sewers, because you could keep your knitting patterns, your crochet patterns here, or anything you've downloaded. And then you've got space in here for things like your marking tools, your um, stitch counters, your um, bodkins, your darning needles, all that kind of stuff. Also things like DPNs, crochet hooks could go in here. And then everything folds together securely. Now what we've also got is a separate pattern and a yes. separate sort of kit are inserts that go inside. Now these are fab. Very I useful. love how you've designed these. So um, these, what you've got, you've got the little sort of grommets or eyelets at the sides here. So these are going to go inside your file. Okay. And then you've got a clear vinyl pocket on the front. So in there you could put things like, for example, your collection of living in loveliness patterns you can go in there beautifully. But then also along the side, this is the genius bit for me, you've got the Velcro which then gives you access to that whole big space in the back. So for example, if you've cut out big templates, it might be actually that you've cut up a dressmaking pattern and you're going to keep the instructions here and then all your pattern pieces in there. Well, they never quite go back in the pack, uh. do they? <laughs> not even close. Not even close. There's someone it terribly the skilled, isn't there? Oh gosh. Yes. Oh, do you know? And it's a bit like packing for your holiday, isn't it? You end up jumping up and down on the packet, yeah. rolling it, you name it. And then they fit inside. So those are all the projects that we're going to do in this hour. But also later on, we've got the most fabulous armchair caddy, which I did tease right at the start of uh, this morning's shows. This is brilliant. Because I do Thank love a bit of much. armchair crafting. <laughs> so this sits on the armrest of your armchair or the sofa, or this would, this would go on your leg, wouldn't I do, it? I do quite a lot of sewing. I'm not a very good passenger at all, so I do quite a lot in the car, so it's great for just across you. Yeah, or if you're traveling you on the train, on the bus, you know, you can pop that over your knee as well. So you've got a great big sort of bit bag, or you can put your projects in there, or your sweet snacks. Definitely I suggested sweet. nachos. <laughs> I heard you suggest nachos. I thought that is genius. Bit of eau de coat on there and the nachos will be Very fine. Very good. Eau de coat. <laughs> brilliant. Just eau de coat it, if in doubt. <laughs> this is on pre-order. You're actually getting a panel to create this and a pattern. Or if you prefer, you can get the panel, the instructions rather, on their own. So if you want to delve into your stash, full size templates are given in the pattern. But if you want to make this one, there is a panel combo. Okay, that's everything that we've got on the show today and also Very later. Today. Let me just start by showing you the teal <laughs> lotus bundle. Okay. So, lotus bag in the teal. This is to actually make this example. Now, a third of the stock actually went on pre-order. <laughs> you are popular, Kerry. That lovely world you live in. That lovely world. I told you all about it, Stuart. You did. You did. <laughs> I'm sure Kerry won't mind me saying. She said to me, most of the time I'm living in chaos. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gosh. did say, am I allowed to say? I was like, yes. Yeah. If I anybody think... visits us, you'll know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's curated chaos, it is. isn't it? Yes. Now, in your bundle, you're getting the things that you need. So you're getting two fat quarters of fabric. Yeah. And these are both from this absolutely gorgeous collection from Paula, the Crafty Lass. Wild Dreams, <gasps> these are called. Wild, Wild Dreams. Wild Dreams. Love that daisy print. Isn't that sensational? We don't offer this fabric by the half metre. This is the only way to get it. This is the only way to get it. Um, Anne's just flagged something up, guys, saying, Stuart, is there a problem with the auction? Are you struggling? Ah, sorry, we were just looking at everything and now all the graphics are coming up. Apologies for that. You're also getting your interfacing that you'll need yeah. for this, okay. Then, your toggle. I love these toggles, really nice ones. Aren't they gorgeous? So you get your toggle as well for the closure. You also get your ribbon, that's a beautiful shade of teal. 
That's a bridesmaidy loving, colour, isn't oh, I'm it? I'm loving teal mm. at the moment. Oh yeah. We've just redecorated and used this colour. Have you? Love it. It's very beautiful. Rich. It's just Hide rich, hand isn't it? <laughs> hmm? Hides the handprints. Absolutely. <laughs> Yours or the children's? Mine, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so you're also getting your full pattern, of course, from um, from Kerry. Now we've got ten left. Yeah. When you've all checked out, we've got 10 of this colourway left. It's been super, super popular. Let me just show you that gorgeous bag that you're going to make again. This is the finished bag in the teal colourway. So you've got that gorgeous large scale floral on the outside. And then inside your bag, you have got that beautiful daisy print. It's a stunning combination. Love the ribbon. Love everything about this. I did forget to mention to you this morning, oh. on the inside of the pattern, yeah. there is a QR code which will take you straight through to the pre-recorded tutorial as well. Oh, fantastic. So, and we demoed this on the 12th of April as well. So if you want to watch the tutorial, there's a QR code that in both there. both of you demonstrating? That <laughs> <laughs> I met Kerry's driver this morning, AKA the hubster. <laughs> He won't come on air, will no, he? No, he's having we none tried. of it. We you tried. Were very, you were very convincing, but he was yeah. still saying no, yeah. wasn't he? He's no, very he adamant. was having none of it, Kerry. <laughs> You're the star. Now, the other <laughs> colourway, super popular too. This is the blue. And this is a gorgeous one too, isn't it? This is that same blue, actually, that's been folder. used on the file. On the file, yeah. This is a lovely combo. So fabric wise, and of course you can decide which fabric you want on the Absolutely. outside. Yeah. Quarter of the stock has already gone of this one. How joyful is that? Why haven't we got this by the half meter? It's amazing. That's one of your fabrics. Your other fabric, delish. Absolutely juicy. It's gorgeous, isn't Whoa, it? Oh, really love it. And Paula draws all of these and colours all of these herself. I mean, not the individual fabrics, you knew that, right? And then you get your <laughs> interfacing, of course. You get your ribbon. It's all about the teal, remember? All about the teal. Love teal. And you get your... Um, the toggle. Well. Toggle, thank you. I was struggling for the word. You get your toggle and then you also get your pattern. And we can make more of these, can't we? You can make as many as you want to. We hundreds, have hundreds thousands. of these. Yeah, they're a nice fast project to sew. So, you know, once you've uh, once you've made one, you're going to want to make lots more as well. Well, also for those of us, and I definitely include myself in this, I love to give a handmade yes. gift. Yeah. And you know, the bag is a wonderful, and then you can put a little something inside, can't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, they're perfect for, uh, my son reminds me all the time, my youngest, chocolate oranges. Chocolate, chocolate oranges, oranges. <laughs> very good, very good. My friend <laughs> Phil's favorite snack. Um, a quarter of the stock has now gone. Another quarter is in baskets. The pattern on its own is also available. We'll just let you have the graphics for that if you'd like the pattern. That's very reasonable as well for the pattern, $6.99. Brilliant. And you're going to make that again and again and again, aren't you? No, I'm definitely thinking gifting some little soaps oh yes little, that's a lovely idea i actually. love miniature toiletries yeah. and we've had lots of messages from people saying you know where they're doing charity sewing as well these are nice little gift bags fast to sew what we all tend to have a stash of fat quarters so Absolutely you know they're right. a lovely, a lovely what project is your angel to policy you're welcome to use the pattern we can make and yeah, sell you can make fantastic and sell. don't sell the pattern of course don't photocopy it for friends either um becky's got in touch becky alexander frost has got in touch to say morning Stuart and Kerry you're both looking great <laughs> we had a lovely early start didn't we this we morning we certainly <laughs> did and we do love an early start now then the roll the roll the roll is over here ending 97 yes now then so this is for your accessory roll and this is in the teal no this is the blue Maybe I've muddled up, ending 97. I think I've just muddled them up. Sorry, I was trying to be organized. Has it got the blue? Those two. Ah, okay. So for this one, now I see quilt batting in here. That's right. Oh, and lovely nice bit of- Nice blush. Is that a grow grain ribbon? Yes. Very nice. nice. I love grow grain. 
I love grow grain. So for your accessory roll, now what a lovely combination actually to get the Linda Lotus bag and the accessory roll to match. So get one of each. Let me just move that out of the way a little bit. May I just pass that down yes, to you? Course. Sorry, I've completely destroyed the filing system <laughs> in there. The so organised filing yes. system. Yes. <laughs> yeah, beautiful floral there. And your daisy. You're getting your batting. You're getting your pattern as well. Everything in there is included everything in there is included. You're also getting your grow grain ribbon, of course. Now then the next bundle that we've got is the blue. Let me grab that one. So this is a combination of that blue and that wonderful raspberry. So again, you're getting the blue fabric. You can use it for the outer or the lining if you prefer your raspberry. And for 15 99 you're getting all of your fabric, all of your batting as well. You get your piece of batting, you get your grow grain ribbon, you also get your full pattern, of course, which is fabulous, fabulous value, really good value. Becky says these bags are great for little bridesmaids bags so they can keep their sweets in. It's the little lotus bag, isn't it? But that accessory roll, so versatile, your sewing tools, art tools, makeup brushes, um, just brilliant very very versatile indeed you might do cake decorating yes it might yes. be sort of like flower forming tools yes. all sorts of things like that absolutely brilliant so that's that kit pattern on its own is also available if you'd like to use your own fabrics for that details are on screen 6.99 for Kerry's living in loveliness accessory roll now we've also got a bundle for the folder, the sewing pattern file. Now you get a lot in this kit, you get a lot in this kit, wow that's terrific. So Kerry, which elements of the sewing pattern file do we make? I'll pass oh this from to this, you. so yeah, this one that kit. you're showing is for the clear um, folder, so this is for the clear pattern folder inserts. Are we missing? I haven't got the other one, no. No. Ah, okay. So if I talk you through the kit that arrives um, while we locate that one. Yep. So for the pattern folder, you're getting everything in here that you need to create the pattern folder, including your embroidery skein, you've got your interfacing in there, you've got the batting, you've got your coordinating zip. The zip colour may vary, but we've selected uh, colours that complement the colours that feature in the fabrics. You're also getting the white on white daisy or ditzy print in there as well and that's if you wanted to, uh, you know, on the front of mine I've put sewing patterns but you could certainly personalise these ones if you wanted to. So if you're, you know, you're confident with writing with your uh, friction pen then just doodle somebody's name on here and you can write those on as well and then mm -hmm. you're getting two half metres of the two coordinating fabrics plus half a meter of your hook and loop as well so quite a lot and the in this full one. pattern of course and the full pattern yeah absolutely brilliant we've located the kit hurrah yes i've got the kit here now so yeah loads and loads of of different stuff in there all that fabric Half a metre of each one? Half a metre of each Fantastic. one. Fantastic. There's your hook and loop, white on white, there's interfacing, a zip, clear vinyl for the pocket, your batting as well. I mean, putting together these kits must take forever. <laughs> this is the bit I love, choosing the fabrics and folding. But you're saving us the hassle, the job, the... Well, sometimes you just can't find yeah. the right zip or vinyl. And not only that, you know, for the vinyl and the white on white and the interfacing, you really only need a little of these, so you're right. getting just enough in there for those. Yeah. Um, whereas your half metres, you know, you'll have some, some leftovers. Fabulous. Oh, well. like, I love a few leftovers. Got your pattern as well, of course. Now, if you want the pattern on its own, you, you can get the pattern on it. So remember, this is for the outer file. So the sort of attache case with all those lovely pockets inside. You, not the clear vinyl pockets, um, but let me just grab it and show you. <clears throat> so just like this, yeah. So you've got that little pocket. Now over half the stock of the pattern has gone now. 
so if you've got that in your basket do remember to check it out pattern on its own 9.99 now then we've also got a kit for the inner pockets so these are for the clear vinyl inserts that's okay You don't have a graphic for the kit. Okay, I got you, right. So at the moment, we've just got the instructions only on screen, 6.99, um, so you get the instructions. We do have a kit, but we haven't got the graphics for it at the moment, so we'll try and find those, and we'll come back to that later. But um, rest assured, we have got a kit, we just haven't got the details at the moment. So this is the pattern for the clear A4 folder pattern insert. It's 6.99. But if you are looking for the kit to make that with the vinyl, the fabric, the hook and loop, and all of the um, eyelets, we've got that. We just need to locate it, and the pattern comes in that as well. So if, if you want the whole shebang, hold fire on that. If you want the pattern on its own, details are there. Right, Kerry. Shall we thank play? Thank you for your patience. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. What are you going to show us today? So we did actually do a tutorial for this on the 12th of April. But again, I just thought I'd show you how to put the front of these together, mm. um, especially because in this hour, the accessory roll in Linda Lotus bag, there is those pre-recorded tutorials for you as well. So instead of having to go back and find them, um, because there are so many elements to the patterns, it's quite a big pattern, which means you've got lots of templates in this pattern booklet as well. So what I always do with the fabrics is cut those fabrics down and then lay those out as the diagrams will show you inside the patterns. And we've put things on the templates like where to attach your hook and loop. Um, we've also got where to attach your handles on here as well. So some indications of where to pop those, but you can play with the pattern uh, if you want to as well. Now I won't get chance in the demonstration today to show you how to do this, but we've popped an extra uh, template in there. Now the original pattern has got little hexagons on there but I just thought using the fabrics that has come with a bundle it would have been such a shame not to showcase those beautiful flowers uh, that Paula has drawn there and designed for the fabric. So I actually cut, uh, did some fussy cutting around the flowers for the one that Stuart's shown you and if you need a, guide and a guideline there for your sewing patterns what you'll do in that case is before we go ahead and sew this together is to just align those hexagons or the flowers on tops, whichever you choose, and then using your heat erasable pen here, just doodle over that sewing pattern. But I did mention if you wanted to personalize this, uh, my daughter's currently doing a, a textile GCSE, so I just popped her name on there, which Fantastic. was really nice. Uh, and some of her fabrics actually that she designed herself. So if we lay these out in the order that these go together, we can now move the clips, making sure these come together nicely. And the first thing that we're going to do is to sew that front of the bag panel. So this is the easiest part. So I'll just move those. Keep that there. Organised chaos, Stuart, told yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it all looks very organised to me. That fabric's fabulous, yeah, it's isn't absolutely it? Absolutely gorgeous. Really I'm so beautiful. happy that uh, we've got this fabric to use in the kits. Uh, I know how passionate Paula is, and I'm always watching and following Paula online mm. and watching her lovely doodles. So it's wonderful to see them come to life in our patterns. I'm just like, can you design some more really quickly, please? Yeah, but she's very prolific. She is she is putting together loads of lovely fabric ranges. So oh, she we'll have plenty more to play with. What sort of seam allowances do you so use? So quarter Kerry? inch. Oh. Quarter inch on here. There we go. So I'm just sewing these together. Nicely. So this is the flat part. This is the front part. And the yeah. front part of the That's yeah. it. I've just realised I've not put the batting on there, so I'll just quickly go over that one more time mm -hmm. and include that batting. You get the batting included? Everything, everything that you need in these patterns Fabulous. are included in the patterns. So Fabulous. we really like putting everything together. And, you know, we've been creating patterns for a while now, and the feedback is that um, people like, like our kits to come with everything. We've done yeah. some where it's just fat quarters in the past and still do those but it's quite nice to have everything all in one place. Oh gosh, it really is, it's such a help, especially with if you're making a bag or a folder or something yeah. like that. You can just sit down and sew, just enjoy yourself. That's the best bit, isn't it? You know, the, the actually putting it together. 
oh gosh yeah and it's and it's frustrating if there's one little bit element oh, missing yeah. like the toggle for example yeah. on the linda lotus bag you know i mean you've sourced them they're included they're the right size the right color it just makes everything brilliant absolutely and that's the bit that's the enjoyment we'll just re-thread that needle there that's the the joy of doing the kits really is that you know we spend a lot of time looking at different things bringing those together um and offering those on their own so you know if you're just going for the pattern because you've got a large stash i'm mm -hmm. sure we all have a lovely mm -hmm. stash then we've now started oh, introducing. It's very nice of you to say so. <laughs> <laughs> very oh. observant. I've no, been you listening. Really are. Dawn's <laughs> going to touch and say yes. I love a complete kit too. Hello, Perry, Stuart, and the team. Yeah, complete kits are where where it's at, isn't it? Oh, I love I love putting them together. So first elements. It's literally like a sort of you're sewing a long. So Strip. bringing yep. those together, you've got your batting in here as well. Mm -hmm. So you'll have your step-by-step -step instructions. So this is the first part of the panel. I have got ahead and put this on a bit early. Um, but again, if you're following the tutorial, you'll be able to see at what stage to pop that in. And at this stage, if you are deciding to put your sewing patterns or your name on the front, then at this stage, I would recommend popping your front panel. So a little bit of 505. Mm -hmm. That is back in stock now at long last. <gasps> Let's just give that a little press. And at this stage, so you're not working with a piece of fabric that's too big. Mm -hmm. This is the time really, once it's on your batting, because it just gives it that extra little bit of plush. So would you put the batting on and then embroider through And then both? embroider, yeah. Yeah. I just think it, keep one, it keeps it all together, but two, it just completely transforms that project, doesn't it? Totally agree with you, yeah. So just give this a little press. Got a few extra little bits here. Ah, oh, do you want some scissors? If you wouldn't mind. I. We can there grab we some scissors. That's all right. I'll no get problem. them at the Got them here. Oh, I'll I've grab them some. at the All right, lovely. Thank you. I pop them in to make it look organised. You see, now I confuse go. myself. Like, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> it's the problem, isn't it, when you start tidying up? Oh, absolutely. So the, Vida's got in touch to say, morning, Kerry and Stuart from sunny Wolverhampton. Oh, I know who Vida is. Good morning, Vida. <laughs> Just down the road from me. Ah. There we go. So this is the part for the back panel as well. So a little bit of 505 on here. Mm -hmm. And I've chosen to cut the bat in exactly to those sizes. So we're securing all of this together. Yep. I could have sewn it all together and then cut the bat in but I really wanted the opportunity to embroider on here first mm -hmm. of all mm -hmm. I'm missing a little piece that's it and the final one there we've got the spine so if we just sew all of these rows together if you have gone for the pattern though this might be a great opportunity to use up your bits and pieces of batting as well oh, I love any project that you know I mean most of the projects that we create are with you know with back quarters or using your scraps and mm. as you can see from this they're all small pieces as well so if you've got a stash of fabrics that you're you know wanting a reason to use or wanting to incorporate them you yeah. know sometimes we just can't decide well I certainly can't decide which fabric to work with this is a nice way to build those all in especially for your sewing patterns as well mm. so you know you can showcase all of those each one of these you know you could pop a different a different scrap on there you if really you could couldn't to. you yeah you really could but I love how simple the sewing is it's sewing those different pieces together almost like a strip piece unit yes, isn't it absolutely I do like easy and simple Stuart oh me too life's complicated you know <laughs> and when you're sewing through fabric and batting at the same time anything would need to change you can um, you can use your walking foot if you want to. I tend not to on projects like this, um, and you can increase your stitch length again, personal preference if mm. you wanted to do that as well. Mm. So there we've got the exterior part um, of your fabric. If I just show you though very quickly, if you mm -hmm. have a little look at mine, how I've put this together. Yeah. There we go. So it's slightly different to the way that we've popped that one together so you can play with these panels oh, as yeah. well mm -hmm. so um you know you can move these little strips around if you want to move oh, I like those that. around so you can have that higher or lower that's it because on mine you've put the 
if I just show you, you've got the strip on the here bottom. and then the larger strip and you've swapped those around for I've this one. I've swapped those around and in the actual like pattern, that. if you swap these two pieces over, like you can see on the front of the booklet, your flap will actually come over and have the sewing patterns on the front. Yes, so I like that too. So there's lots of... So you, you can, can play the with these, yeah. There's yeah. no there's no right or wrong way. The pattern booklet will show you one way, but I just thought because I'd had a message after the last show, somebody had somebody done this and they said they'd done it by accident, but I thought it was actually really quite nice the yeah, way yeah. that these had come together. So I just thought I'd show um, how you can put those ones together. Really there. nice. Now don't forget if you want to get the inserts um for the file we've only got the pattern at the moment we have got a kit but we're still trying to sort it out but there is a pattern to create these clear vinyl inserts for 6.99 the other kit doesn't include these so you don't get these these plastic files in the main kit these are an additional yeah so the main kit for, for creating the outside of the file bag is on screen now, it's 34.99. Remember you're getting your two half meters of fabric, you're getting your white on white, you get hook and loop, you also get a small piece of clear vinyl to create your pocket, you get the zip as well, you get absolutely loads in that kit, uh, plus the pattern of course for creating the file. Brill. right so the next thing we've got is your handle so we're going to pop the handle on the outside there um, so I've got some fusible interface and this is what your fusible interface is used for in the kit and that's in the kit too that's in the kit as well so the flap the interior flap and your handle is where we use the interface in so as you can see they are small small pieces so you've got plenty in the kit there to be able to cover those over so we're going to pop the interfacing onto the wrong side of the fabric with a fusible side facing down towards the fabric and either a pressing cloth or just a piece of fabric in between while we just fuse that interfacing to that handle there. There we go. And then what we're going to do is to fold the two small raw edges in approximately half an inch. Mm -hmm. The same on the opposite side here. And then we're going to fold this in half to make our centre fold. Gotcha. So we've got a nice sturdy handle here. Yeah. And this is that one that goes on the outside of the folder for sort That's of carrying right, it around. Yeah. That's right. That's a really smart addition. That gives it that sort of attache case look, doesn't yeah. it? That's it. Now, I really like any opportunity to use uh, decorative stitches. So you can use a straight stitch or um, a decorative stitch on your sewing machine. I was going to say, you've used a gorgeous um, bright yellow thread and a zigzag on that, which looks absolutely terrific. I love it. I'll show you that properly. Um, Fiona says, looking forward to seeing Kerry at Malvern this weekend. Her stand is so popular. Do help that there are some, do hope that there are some goodies left on Sunday. Such a shame that I won't have a stand there. I know, I'm sorry. I might try and visit on Sunday. Rachel says, hi, Stuart and Kerry. Just bought two armchair caddies for Gary and my father-in-law. Brilliant. Anne asks, Kerry, is there a QR code for a video for the pattern folder? There isn't for the pattern folder. No. Um, and we actually have haven't done a demonstration on Sewing Street, but what we will do is get a tutorial up on our YouTube okay, cool. for that one. The pattern's really clear though. The pattern's very clear. Very You've got thorough. lots of step-by-step -step instructions, but I did I did avoid doing that one on the show because you need a little hammer to give it a, you know, and I thought it might be a little bit too layered in the, oh, uh, in the studio. Oh, I tried doing grommets on a show once. It did not go well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great project to do though when you're having one of those days isn't it <laughs> so we're going to put this on the spine which is this middle part here that constructs the two uh, parts of the folder now as I mentioned on your template there is a guidance on there where did I pop that somewhere over there but where to position those but for ease I'm just going to fold this in half find the center same with the handle and position the handle in the center there centering it into the middle and because I want this to stand up as a handle, I'm just going to make sure this is tucked up here. Have oh, I see. So you kind of inch it up almost like a caterpillar. Yes, just, yes, just like that. Um, Do you need some pins? I have, if you've got one to hand. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd get away with just the clips. I've oh, got a beautiful you. pin dish right there. Very colourful indeed. <laughs> 
So just popping that in, and as Stuart says, just pushing this in. So that's really sitting up and you've got a good grip on your handle there. And to sew that into position, I'm not going to do that now, just because of time. You're just going to pop a square again. It's on that template. I can see that mm. just here. So you've got a guideline of how to sew that together. So that's how quickly your exterior part of the that's folder amazing. comes together. And that's when you need your sofa caddy, isn't it? When you're sitting, relaxing, doing all your hand doing sewing. Doing your hand embroidery, yeah. So that's the exterior part. And then we've got those lovely pockets on the interior. So we'll start with the back part where we've got three pockets. And if I take the small pocket and the large pocket, and if we just turn these over, we're going to just pop a double hem on that shortest raw edge here. So a quarter inch over and again, And again, this is, I think, uh, in mine, I've probably used, I always use a zigzag stitch. I Do feel you? like, yeah. Bit of decoration. Well, I like the decoration, and also, I th oh, it, it helps me be able to speed through projects and not have to worry about it being perfect, you know, yeah. perfectly straight. I think sometimes we give ourselves a hard time um, trying to get it perfectly straight, so that's why yeah. I like a zigzag. I totally agree. It just, I love the decorative element that it adds. It's adding more well i think you know when we've um got the stitches on our machine sometimes we we tend not to use them uh, and it's a nice way to showcase them isn't it in just your everyday stitching your hemming and um it really can transform a project especially when you're selecting one of the colors from your fabrics mm. as well so as the pattern mentions here you've got your so you've got your double hem fold lines at the top and it's showing you here where you're popping your um, hook and loop. Mm -hmm. We've also got the measurements in the pattern as well. So how far to measure that down and pop your hook and loop on. But for now, I'm just going to position that just here. And don't worry too much. As long as it's a good inch from the bottom, that yep. works perfectly there. And all we're going to do is to just pin through those layers and sew along that in uh, sew along that hook and loop well that okay. hook there when I'm using you the hook. sew your hook and loop on kerry yeah i i struggle sometimes whereabouts do you sew so if you look between your hook and loop i found if you get too close to the raw edge of it if yeah. you think when you're opening and closing and opening and closing mm. as you would in a project like this it can sometimes start to fray okay so i try and position mine as close to the loop as i possibly can or as close to the um, hook as much as I possibly can. Gotcha. I think that's the mistake I'm making. I'm going too near the outer edge. And you're finding that it's, yeah. Yeah. So just go as close to the I am quite heavy bit. hand. The fluffy bit, yeah. <laughs> but I'm quite heavy handed, so I'll sort of, you know, if I'm, uh, so I, I find that that certainly helps me. Yeah. And what I also do as well is just increase the stitch to the longest stitch that your machine will allow as well. Great. Kerry, it looks like we're going to have the kit for the folder inserts in your next okay, hour. No we're just struggling with a code for that. Apologies, folks. If you want the kit for, for the insert, just hang fire on that. Um, you get the pattern, you get all the clear vinyl, the... Um, the, I always want to call them grommets, the eyelets, two fat quarters, big piece of vinyl as well, and the pattern, hook and loop tape too. We will get that in for the next hour at 11 o'clock with Kerry, so just hang fire on that one. So the next thing to do on here, and you mentioned earlier on, you may use this for either your knitted needles or your crochet mm. needles. If, that was the, if that's the case and you're going to use it, crochet hooks, these pocket sizes will be absolutely perfect. But if you were going to use it for your knitted needles, there would be space in the fabric for you to increase the size of these pockets. So you ah. may want to make those a little longer. So you okay. will have some. So if you're making it for your knitting collections, then just take that into consideration. <laughs> And of course, you can pop the pocket on either of these. So yeah. It's quite nice, actually, to see what people make with your patterns. It really because is, we yeah. Well, I use a lot of circular needles, so they would fit into yes. that perfectly because they're only short, you know. Um, I don't tend to use the really long needles anymore. 
Oh, do you not? No, no, I, I use the short needles on a cable and then they, yeah, they, they'd fit into that bag perfectly. Stuart, I, I once made um, a handle for my daughter. She wanted to make a bag and I once right. made a handle and I think it was supposed to be sort of three inches wide right. and it sort of... Wobbled when, in and yeah, out. Yeah, it did a lot of wobbling and like she curves. never used, she never used it. She was said, no. Oh no. So I never bothered again. After all that effort, and was it crocheted I, or knitted? It was knitted. And okay. my nan taught me to knit when I was younger. She knew how to cast on and knit. Yep. Knit one pill one. Yeah. But she didn't know how to cast off. So there she used to go. make us <laughs> scarves and we still had the knitting needle <laughs> in there. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Now for this one, just draw on using your fabric pen, you can draw on your lines however far you want these spaced out. Mm -hmm. I'll just pop one in there for now. Super. So you can use your pen or you can uh, keep this. Kerry, you are the queen of the speedy demo. They should get you on <laughs> sewing bee to show everything. See, four hours is plenty. Kerry made it in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> When I'm sewing with my mom, she gets really frustrated. She's like, slow down. You're a person that's used to just getting things done, Kerry. I can tell I'm that. I'm a mom of three. There so you go. There you time go. Is, uh, time is always very limited. Uh, message. Um, I missed what these fabrics are. Beautiful kits, Kerry. Oh, now, these you. fabrics... Um, uh, are only available in the kits. They're from Paula, the crafty lass, who you might have seen on, on Instagram. Um, I'm going to try and I'm going to ask if there's any way we can get these fabrics in by the half meter. But at the moment, you can get these beautiful fabrics in Kerry's kits. Um, that's the only place we've got them right now. They are amazing. Oh, they're just absolutely stunning. They really are absolutely beautiful. And but they... of course, if you wanted to make the file in solid fabrics yes yeah. something really simple and plain you could use you could use those couldn't you well the last kits that we did with these so we had these on last month and we actually put a, a batik fabric with these Lovely. um but i know whenever i'm on with vicky she always says she would perhaps especially with linings of projects which if you think about it a lot of this you know a lot of this fabric you don't see really it's showcased on the binding yeah um, and in the pocket you could absolutely you, know, you could make two, couldn't you, really? You well, could, you, if you've got you your stash. Could, you could, but then when I open the file, I want to see all I'd, that beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to have this open more often than closed. You're going to? I'm going to be using it. Well, you, you know can have mean? that one, si um, Stuart. Oh, I didn't mean I was literally no, going to be using it. No, you can have that one, because I'm going to oh, have this one, aren't I? I? <laughs> so you can have that one. Get me organised. <laughs> as organised as me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, herding cats springs to mind. I don't know, I think you do a pretty good job. I think you do a pretty good job. So we've got, so what I've done on here is I've just popped your um, loop on the inside. So this is the interior part of the flap. Mm -hmm. You've got your interfacing on here again. So wrong side of the fabric. I mean, you could skip the interfacing, but it just gives it that extra body, yeah. doesn't it? And I think it really finishes off the project and that's the outer flap isn't it this is the outer flap so this is for the little pocket on the inside of the project mm -hmm. there we go fab and what we're going to do then is to place this pattern facing mm -hmm. now because of the way i'm going to insert this onto the back what i'm going to do here is to just sew around the th uh, four sides leaving a little turning gap here ah gotcha so you're you're even sewing across the top of the flap but with yeah. a gap because i find it's particularly difficult to get a nice uh, finish on your corner i've lost mm -hmm. the thread again um mm -hmm. it's quite difficult to get a nice finish on your corner so i always tend to sew um, on any flaps, whether they're for bags or this project, just across there. Mm. No, nope. let's try again. I think oh. it mustn't be going into the needle. Let's see. No. Nope. We'll do it the other way. I'll just let you do that. Now, um, we've got two kits for the Lotus bag, the Linda Lotus bag, also available on the show. Oh, have we? The teal has sold out. Okay. And very limited on the blue. Remember, the blue kit has the go actually the gorgeous fabric that, that Kerry is currently using now. It's that beautiful blue and then that beautiful raspberry. If you want to see a demo for that bag, it was demoed on the 10th of March. Mm. No, it's 
12th of April. 12th of April, thank you, thank you. Ah, you've just given me today's date. <laughs> Excuse us. We were thrown. We were thrown. We had a we had a funny start to the day. Um, <laughs> you get your full pattern, don't you, as well? Over half the stock of that has gone. The teal version has sold out. But you do also get that gorgeous um, teal ribbon as well. Now, if you wanted to get make more of these, and and there's that there's that bit, isn't there? There's that one thing. You think, where would I find more toggles? We've got the toggles. Okay, so you can get them in either the white or the black. I'll show you the white ones first. So in this pack, you're getting um, the white, two white toggles for two ninety nine. Single figures of those left. The black toggles, very, very versatile, these. One third of the stock has gone. You get two of these. You need one for the Linda Lotus. If you're making something like... Um, you might make a pyjama bag or a drawstring mm -hmm. bag. They're perfect for that as well, aren't yes, they? Yes. Or just adding into a, all sorts of bags. A plimp sole bag. Do love a plimp sole. Daps, we used to call them. Oh, did you? Daps. I bet you called them plimp soles or pumps. 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 <gasps> ah, hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. The insert kit is now available. Let me do Can I show this quickly, yes, Kerry? Is that all right? Yeah. Um, so, the inserts that go inside the file, the pattern file, absolute genius. You've got your pocket on the front to put your pattern in, and then you've got a Velcro way in to the hole. So you've kind of got two pockets here. Brilliant. Plus your eyelets as well. Now, in your kit, you get your full pattern. You get two fat quarters of fabric you get your meter of hook and loop then you also get a full pack of eyelets so actually you could make loads of those you can make lots of those and i've tested this pattern so from your half meter of vinyl and your two fat quarters you have enough in there to make two complete fold overs brilliant but you'll have some left over to cut the strips that you need for binding fabulous uh, so if you want to make lots of these it's definitely worth adding some clear vinyl as well yes some clear order. vinyl but i mean you get so many many of these you're actually getting 40 sets so you could make 20 of the inserts in terms of the the eyelids that's awesome absolutely awesome uh, plus of course the vinyl I bought the patterns for the folder and the inserts last time they were on and made both an A4 and A5 version great pattern and easy to follow that's from Christine who's in Berkshire that is absolutely brilliant well done well done I think that's a superb value addition actually because those five and actually if you weren't making the full can I have the full yeah of course you can if you weren't making the full file you wanted to just use an ordinary file from from the stationers you could make these insert your patterns in there or templates could we actually just use these as project bags absolutely yeah we absolutely. could do that too for our epp our foundation paper piecing and i'm thinking as well they'd be really good for knitting and crochet from we have launched on sewing street as well um fast fat quarter fun issue six where we had the verity vinyl bag mm -hmm. in there so just pop in the eyelets if you've got that collection and even if you've made some of the vinyl bags you can just put the eyelets on and they will sit inside the folder perfectly as perfect, well perfect perfect love your patterns are so adaptable and they're not just for one thing none of them i mean the file and the inserts if you're a really keen cook or a keen baker or you're making for somebody who is what about a recipe file um and keeping all of your sort of like i say cake decorating tools i'll make that for craig Craig's the cook in our house. Ah, is he? he he's the, he's Signature the dish? Oh, that's a very good question, actually. I don't think you can go wrong with Spag Bol, personally. Well, I'll but... tell you a very quick story about Spag Bol. Craig, as I've mentioned <laughs> to you, was in the army. Uh -huh. oh, right, and okay. when we used to get together, it didn't matter whose house we went to, everybody cooked Spag Bol. You know, we were quite young when we got married. That's all everybody yeah. could make. And usually it was the men that made the spag bowl, but Craig okay. had, had to had an extended shift. So I said, I'll do it, it's fine. Yeah. And so I made this spag bowl and I thought, gosh, I'm, I've done this in record time today. I'm 
great at this stuff. <laughs> and when everybody sat down to eat, I said, I don't know why it's so runny. I'm not sure. I've missed something. I'm not sure what I've missed. And everybody ate their food. And one of the lads then turned around and said, do you want me to tell you what you forgot to put in, Kerry? And I said, yeah, because yeah. it's been bugging me. I forgot to put the mints in. <laughs> <laughs> they've good. never, they've Very never good. let me forget it. That's Did you why Craig does the vegan, cooking. <laughs> vegan spag bar. Bless you. That's why I don't do the cooking. Now, you're showing us how to sew the zip pocket next. So, for the zip pocket, what we've done here, so I'll just quickly show you this um, the, um, the exterior flap. Yep. What I've done here is I've sewn it together. And then as I did in the first step, I've just used a decorative stitch around those three sides. I've actually left this open. Now, in the pattern and always whenever I'm making a project, I would always give this a little press and mm -hmm. just slip stitch that to finish. Sure. Now, instead of, especially if you're going to make these for your knitting needles or crochet hooks, this is where this pattern's great. So you just simply pop in your Velcro on top and then sew in across that line. So you haven't got to measure it and work out where it's got to go. You just sit it on top. So if you've made those pockets a little bit bigger, the same step, and then we're sewing across that flap to secure into so position. So the pocket doesn't change size, it's just where you no, put the flap? just wherever you put the flap. And if you were going to use it for sort of makeup brushes or something like yeah. that, you might be doing a makeup course, Ex yep. keep your brushes in there, yep. bit of makeup in the clear vinyl pocket. This is the part right here that Kerry's about to show us, by the way, how to put this zip in, which is super oh. useful. And then you could put like your workshop notes in your files, yep. couldn't you? Eyes one day, eyebrows the next. Oh, Heavy on the lip. <laughs> I do love a strong lip, don't you? Yes. I do love a strong me lip. Me too. We are. Hannah just said in my ear, don't you give me lip. <laughs> As if you would. As if I As if would. You would. Are we going over a little bit? We? Yes, we're going we to go over a little bit. We've got 10 more minutes. Oh, there fabulous. was a lot of kerfuffle. <laughs> so what I've done here, so I've cut the pieces. This is for your top and the bottom flap. And all I've done on the centre in the same way as we did with the handles, excluding that quarter mm. inch, is just folded these in just to create your binding. And for one of these, we're going to place this on the top of the vinyl. So I really quite like adding binding, binding to a vinyl. It certainly yeah. makes it easier to sew through. Um, yeah, because otherwise, if you're trying to sew direct on the vinyl, yeah, it, you need a non-stick foot, don't that's you? That's right, yeah. So you can e e and also your leather needle. Now, for little mm. projects, on the back of the pattern, I do recommend it, but it is optional. Um, I do say on there um, a vine, uh, sorry, a leather needle. But for oh, this okay. little bit, this really is the only bit we'll of leather that it. we're sewing around, yeah. But we've put it on there anyway. You might have it in your collection. Well, you might decide you want to have a go at sewing with vinyl, but like make the file because there's just a little bit of that to sew. That's and, it. And sewing the fabric around it does make it very easy to handle. Absolutely. And then when you're confident with that, work up to doing the vinyl inserts. And definitely for your vinyl inserts, then you'll need that. Um, you'll certainly need your that leather, leather needle. needle there. So what I'm doing on the zipper is I've just um, butted the zip onto that center of the um, binding there and just using a straight stitch. I have increased this to the longest stitch. So we're going to leave the needle inserted two finger spaces ahead of the zip and just drop this back out of the way. Now in the pattern booklet as well, um, I show you how to use the wash away uh, quilters tape for your zip. Mm which is so incredibly useful indeed. Oh, it's uh, Becky Alexander Frost's oh, favourite, isn't it? it? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with uh, Rebecca there. I wouldn't be without it. I love the combination of that blue zip. It's nice, isn't it, that Beautiful. Blue? Really nice. Electric. You know, when I was a teenager, all I wanted was my hair that colour. My mum used to wear this colour eyeshadow. Right, uh, we've got yeah. some fabulous photos. Yeah, fabulous Do you remember photos. electric blue mascara? Oh. <gasps> we've got some great photos of my mum. A frosted pink lip yeah. and electric blue mascara. I'm telling you, anybody who wasn't around in the 80s, you missed out. I definitely think I was born in the wrong year. I'd have loved to be around. I have so many lovely memories watching my mum do her makeup and Oh, I love the hair. fact that I'm old enough to be your mum. <laughs> thanks, thanks for subtly saying I that. I didn't say that. I'd have I loved, said to, I wish oh, I'd have I loved was, to have been in around, fact, in, the around in the 80s. I was born in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've gone right off you. But uh, you know, all the makeup and things. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the we big, bring it back. We need to big shoulder back. pads. Yeah, fab. Fat wing sleeves. It was just so much fun, wasn't it? But then I love the big dresses as well. And, yeah. Um, 
Anyway, back to what we're doing. So I've put the binding <laughs> on the top. I could talk about it all day. I've put the binding on the top of the fabric. This is really where your wash away tape will certainly come in. So if you run a strip of wash away tape along the zip, and then we're simply just aligning this on top. I haven't got any wash away tape with me, which is very unusual. I feel a bit lost without it, to be honest. Mm. What I've done here is I've used a zigzag stitch as close as you can to the folded edge of the binding to secure the binding into the vinyl. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to use a straight stitch and sew across there to secure this onto the That's zip. That's such an easy way of putting a zip in though, Kerry. Yeah. None of this like folding it back and you know just easy peasy lay it over the top and stitch down absolutely super love it and this is the great thing about trying different designers and different patterns because there isn't just one way of putting in a pocket one way of doing a flap one way of, of inserting a zip and you learn something new with every single pattern so many different great patterns to to try on this morning's show with kerry absolutely love it so again, just leaving two finger spaces ahead and then we're going to sew along to secure that zip into position. Now half the stock of the full folder, the full file pattern and you know kit has gone. So um, well done if you managed to get yours. If you haven't yet, I wouldn't hang about. It is absolutely brill. And again, you know, make one, you'll make a load. Yeah. So, you won't stop at one, will you? No, absolutely not. I've, I've got several of these now. Well, you've got one of these now, Stuart. No, I certainly <laughs> do. I love it. I love it. So what we're doing here is we're placing the inside pocket. So this is the inside of the front pocket. We've got two of those pockets. In fact, I've picked up the wrong fabric. Mm -hmm. Let's go for that. And then placing that vinyl on top. Now, amongst my collections here, I have got some binding. It all started so good. There we go. That? No, that's not binding. That's it. So we've got the binding. So I'm going to do the binding slightly different on this one. So instead of having to double hem this because we're not going to press and we certainly don't want to press the vinyl. So I decided for this one to just use your binding, press that in half. Mm -hmm. And then to enclose that raw edge there, we're going to clip the binding onto that raw edge and sew along the full length. Now the, pa the um, zips that you've got here have got these little metal parts. Just make sure they're at least half an inch back out of the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now to secure the vinyl into position, I've skipped ahead again, to make sure this is secured on this part, we're just going to, again, zigzag stitch along the top of here. So you've got that same decorative stitch as the bottom of your binding as well. Got you. Just going to have to draw demos, bringing That's them it. to a close now. Is that all right? That's it. We're so, done with this. I mean, just a brilliant set of skills that you've shown us, though, this morning. Absolutely fantastic. And I love the way you use the zigzag because it's easy, it's fast, and it looks great. So, to finish that pocket off, so we've got both of your pockets done this morning, the one with your flap and then your second one will just finish this off and attach your binding but on the 12th of april we did pretty much complete the panel if you wanted yeah. to go back and watch the full tutorial there for Fab. the folder amazing thank you so much You're kerry brilliant Whew. have a breather uh, <laughs> Now, just to round up the folder, full kit with hardware, you're getting your two half metres of fabric, outer and inner, you're getting your batting, white on white, you get some hook and loop tape, a zip, vinyl, uh, some interfacing as well, plus your full pattern. And remember, all of that is to make the outer file, uh, which of course includes that lovely um, well, I suppose you might call it like the name label or the strip that runs through the centre. Kerry's embroidered sewing patterns here, but you could machine embroider on that if you wanted. So everything to make the outer and then also inside, it's everything to make your pockets that are in here too. So you've got your tool pockets, you've got your clear vinyl pocket here as well. Absolutely fantastic file and then we've got a separate pattern to create those vinyl inserts if you want to do that as well so that's our full kit 
for the pattern file. And then we've also got the Lotus, Linda Lotus bag. Now the teal version did, oh sorry, inners. Yeah, we'll backtrack, pattern file. Uh, so we've got the kit for the pages that go inside. Single figures of this left now. So you've got your vinyl, big piece of vinyl there. How much, how much fabric do we get? Half a meter, ace. So half a meter of the vinyl, we get a meter of hook and loop, we get a full pack of eyelets, two fat quarters of fabric to create the binding and the top of the pocket, and then also your full pattern as well. Amazing value for all of that, 19.99. Um, it's gonna make two of those inserts, but then you're also gonna actually have enough eyelets, for example, to make another 18 inserts okay so you would have to buy some more hook and loop you'd need to buy some more vinyl but i mean you might well have some fat quarters i'm imagining you've got some fabric in your stash i imagine they might yeah but i mean these are the kind of thing these are the hard to find <laughs> yeah, are. these are the you know the, when do you track them down and expensive yeah. as well you've got enough sets in there to do 20 uh, inserts in total brilliant brilliant value for 19.99 <gasps> wonderful um now the Lotus bundle in teal has sold out, but we've got the blue, we've got the blue. It's only single figures now though, so if you want the Lotus bag, the Linda Lotus, you will need to hop straight on. You get your full pattern, it's a gorgeous little, so versatile bag this, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Perfect here for... I, I use mine for my quilting clips actually, it's quilting great for clips, quilting yeah. clips. I love the fact that it's a bag and then it's also a sort of caddy that will sit but also you can open it right up and sit it flat can't you so um, just absolutely brilliant so so versatile uh, you get your ribbon you get your toggle you get two fat quarters of fabric this is the blue and then you also get the raspberry plus interfacing and your pattern I mean literally add thread add thread and, you, and that's it you're away superbly put together kit uh, single figures on that kit though so do be quick won't you we're going to go to break thank you so much for all your hard work Kerry um, in the next hour I'm going to be showing you how to use gridded interfacing brilliant for quilters and batting tape as well so stay tuned see you after this stuck for ideas for the perfect gift why not get them a gift card you can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. 
fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day.
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hey, welcome back to Sewing Street. It's great to have your company. I'm Stuart Hillard and um, we've got a really uh, excellent product. I mean, fantastic product to share with you. Well, a few actually in this hour, but I'm really excited about getting the quilters iron on interlining in white with a grid. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. Well done if you've already checked out on this. It is just a brilliant product. It is a one inch gridded um, interfacing from Fleeceline. It's a lightweight interfacing. It is absolute genius for quilters and bag makers as well. Let me show you what it is. So the piece that you're buying is 8 99 and you get 80 centimeters wide by one meter. Okay. Um, sorry, is that 90 centimetres? Beg your pardon, I've been saying 80, it's 90 centimetres wide and it is one metre in length. You'll see on it, on printed on one side, you've got this sort of golden orangey brown sort of grid and these, all these squares are a perfect inch square. Okay, on the other side, you have got the typical, if you've used interfacing before, you'll be used to that sort of little dot, sort of slightly rough feeling glue side, heat activated glue side. You're going to use this primarily for quilting and for creating the most accurate patchwork, especially using squares and rectangles. Now, let me show you the kind of thing that you could make with this, because I think once you see what you can make with it, and then I'll show you how it kind of makes sense. So we've got some gorgeous images that we found on the web. Um, this one is Tilda. Now this is a free pattern on Tilda's website for this absolutely magnificent bouquet of flowers made using solids. You could use your scraps, you could go into your stash to make this. It's a free pattern, but trust me on this, you'd want to use gridded interfacing to create all those little squares. And with them, it will come out perfect. You'll be thrilled to bits with it. I think that's amazing. Um, think pixelated. So Audrey Hepburn, Vincent van Gogh, all created with squares, grayscale, colours, you decide. I mean that's inspiring isn't it? You could use cross stitch kits, you can, you can use pixelating apps as well, turn photographs into pixelated images. Just to start in point, there's lots and lots of um, tutorials online for how to do that. So have a little search for them. If you want a nice simple pattern to get you started, maybe bypass Vincent, start with a rainbow. This is a free pattern on Pinterest, free rainbow quilt pattern. Um, there's also a heart. This is gorgeous. There's the heart. Uh, really easy with the quilters gridded Vlieseline. Um, you'd make the, the inner square patchwork, yeah? You'd, you'd do it all in little squares. Great way to use up your scraps, but it's supporting you. It's supporting you in how you're going to do it. And there was that lovely Riley Blake. Again, pixelated rows. This is another free pattern from Riley Blake. This is on the Riley Blake website. There you go, isn't that gorgeous? And there's all your instructions. And it's made in sections, and with this gridded interfacing, you can join those sections, no bother at all. So let me show you how you use it. Now, obviously, what we've got here is a one inch grid, but that doesn't mean you can only do one inch squares of fabric. So what I've done actually is to cut my fabric um, two inch squares, okay? So I've got all these, two inch squares already cut out. So what a great way of using up your scraps or if you've got charm packs, trim them down. Um, I'll pop those to one side. Now, printed side, we are gonna flip it over. I want the gluey side facing up. And just to make my life easier and your life easier later when you come to do this, you wanna pop, either pop this on your ironing board or pop your um, pressing mat underneath, all right? 
And then what you're going to do is simply place your squares onto the glue side. All right. Now, obviously, lots and lots of different ways you can set out your squares. And I've used squares here, but there's no reason why you can't do strips, rectangles. You could do an uneven nine patch. Um, however you want to play it, you can do it once you've got the basic principle. But I would recommend that you start with squares and you want to make sure as you're placing your squares down that they are just inside the lines. Now, quick tip here. When you're cutting out your squares of fabric, if you're one of those people who's a little generous on your cutting, this is a time to be slightly not generous on your cutting, ungenerous, a bit miserly. OK, so it's just very, very slightly under and then they'll fit into those squares just that little bit easier. And basically what you're going to do then is just keep on building up whatever design you want to do. So this could be trip around the world. This could be Bargello style. That would look absolutely gorgeous as well. So I'm going to pop a little square in the corner there. Um, and I feel like we need some more ice lollies over here. And then the last bit pink. So I've made a little rectangle. You could make placemats like this as well. So once you've placed all of your squares down, you're then going to get your iron and you want to iron these in place. Now I super, super recommend for this job that you use a mini iron, a travel iron, rather than a, a large iron, okay? For the reason being that you are going to press, you're going to iron those squares in place. You do not want to get your iron on the interfacing. Otherwise, of course, the glue is going to sink onto your iron and you don't want a gluey iron so just take your time and to begin with you want to do just a pressing motion hold the iron in place and just get everything secure okay once you've done that and you've got it all secure, you can then, of course, trim your interfacing down. Um, I think it's nice to leave maybe an inch border all the way around while you're working on it, just so that you've got something to hold on to. But I mean, if you don't want to, it's fine. It's not necessary to. And if you're joining block to block or section to section, you will trim it literally to the line and then put the two pieces together and, and sew through both. All right, so that's your preparation. Now then, how do we sew this? Let me show you. So first step then is now we're going to work from the gridded side, the gridded line side. So we're going to flip the whole thing over and what we're going to do is start doing vertical seams. I've already sewn some of mine, so I'm going to get to my next join can you see here through the back this is my next sewing line here so i'm going to fold the fabric so that they're right sides together i mean it's exactly the same principle as we do in real life wouldn't we we put our fabrics right sides together but instead of having to sew one square to another square look i've got a whole row of squares already in a line ha genius so quarter inch seam allowance and I'm going to sew straight down. How easy is this? This absolute piece of cake. Can you think about that uh, Riley Blake pixelated rose or the Tilda pixelated flower bouquet? Can you imagine trying to sew all of those squares together? I don't think so. Now then, once it's all sewn together in rows, it's going to start looking like that. So they've turned into rectangles, okay? But looking good already. Next step, you want to grab a pair of nice sharp scissors and you want scissors that are sharp to the tip. And what you're going to do is at every intersection, you're going to snip through the interfacing. There's almost oh, there's a little fold. And you're going to snip through all of those intersections just down to your stitching. Now, don't panic if you ever cut through your sewing. I mean, try to avoid it, but you are going to sew the other way. So, you know, you'll, you'll capture any of those when you sew the next row anyway. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start folding our interfacing the other way. And this is where, can you see how, where I've snipped those have popped open and what I can do now is I can turn my seam allowances so that they nest yeah so let me just show you what I mean 
So right there, you can see they've popped open. So now as I'm sewing, I can turn them so that the seam allowances are nested all the way across. So let's sew the next row. And if you try and sort of have a system, Okay, so try and have a system so that you've always got sort of your one seam allowance goes up and your next seam allowance goes down. But then it really is nice and easy and straightforward. Let's keep sewing. I tell you what, this is the quickest pixelated quilt you'll ever make. And if you're not doing pixelated, you might be doing photos, you might be doing a trip around the world, you might be doing uh, Bargello. Ah, oh, Charlie sent in a picture. This is lovely. That's gridded interfacing using Liberty fabrics to create a bag. Now what, that's wonderful. Oh, it's a cushion, sorry. Beg your pardon. It could be a bag though, couldn't it? It could be a bag. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Do beg your pardon. Um, but while we're on the subject of bags, if you love bag making, but you maybe struggle a little bit with cutting out the larger pieces of fabric and you want a guide, what about using the gridded interfacing? Because they're inches, you know, if you need a 10, a 10 inch square for the flap on your bag, just iron your interfacing to your fabric and then cut it out. And voila, voila. Well, I'm not doing the reveal yet. I want to do all of them. I've still got two seams to sew. Have I got time? Yes, of course. <laughs> ah, lots of you are loving this. Have you never seen this before? Isn't it amazing? You could make mug rugs, you could make coasters, placemats, runners. If you love um, the idea of doing a watercolour quilt. Now these were incredibly popular in the 90s where florals, lots of lovely florals in different sort of lights, mediums, darks, all sewn together in little squares to create a sort of wash of colour from light through to dark. Look absolutely amazing. The technique was um, really popularised by an amazing quilter called Dillis Franks and um, she did some amazing quilts using that technique. Nearly there. We've got a photo from Roxanne. Fabulous. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Okay. That is my last seam there. Okay. And then if I just... Oh, photo first. Thank you. Hi, Stuart. I made this wall hanging. It's about 24 inches square using the iron on grid. It has pride of place in my sewing room. Glad to see the product now on Sewing Street from Roxana. Oh, that is amazing. This is the first time actually that we've ever had this on air on its own, um, not in kits, just being able to buy it as it is. Now then, let me just show you my little trip around the world it's blowing in the we've got the fan on and it's blowing about but look at that how crazy is that easy quick no sewing individual squares together so now all you would do so um, a couple more little tips for you i've managed to twist some of my seam allowances i didn't have a system did i <laughs> this is genius Stuart thank you for showing us all oh Sabina you're welcome I just love a product that solves a problem that does a job you know that's just amazing um, I'm just going to trim the interfacing from around the edge in fact I'm going to rotary cut that just to speed up the process a tiny bit excuse me oh I think this is the I'm not using that one let me just grab there we go i always bring my own equipment because you know what it's like you like your own stuff don't you so i'm just going to trim this away now i've been a little wasteful there's no need to leave a big margin all the way around but um this morning when i was getting ready i literally just grabbed a bit of interfacing and started playing 
Linda has messaged. Hi, Stuart. I could watch you all day. So therapeutic and calming. Ah, and a new technique as well. Yay! That's from Linda. Yeah! 8 99 to try something completely new. Why not? 90 centimetres by a metre. Right, that's a bit easier to handle now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... Um, this, these are the seams I've just uh, sewn. Either use a rotary cutter or you can just use a pair of scissors. Now this is a little extra step but I think you'll agree that it's worthwhile because what I like to do with these now is I like to open them up. I like to open these seams up. So I'm just snipping down. You could use a rotary cutter to do that if you want. And then I'm going to flip this over. And ideally, you want to use your regular steam iron for this. But I'm going to use a small iron. And I'm just going to push all those seam allowances open. And then I'm going to press. Now, on the tilde quilt that we showed you, that quilt is made in sections. So you don't have to start trying to make great long sections. You're going to make rectangles and then they all fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the show, you absolutely can join these sections together with other piece sections. It's not an issue. Um, all you would do is butt this up against your next section, right sides together, and you want everything trimmed back, just like this, right to the edge of the fabric. Remember your seam allowance is included and then you're just going to put those right sides together and you're going to sew them together with a quarter of an inch seam. And again, I would open that seam up and then um, press them open. But how cool is that? How cool is that? Now, obviously, the piece that you're getting is 90 centimetres wide. You're getting one metre in length. So it's a big old piece of interfacing. My tip would be to multi-buy, get yourself a couple of metres at least. Most people have, most of you have. Um, it's just brill. And what's so cool is as you're sewing it and kind of what starts this big sort of shrinks down once you take your, your um, seam allowances off, but you just end up, it's so cool, it's so precise. And like you saw, no sewing one square to another square and then join another two. Literally stick them down, fold it, sew, re redo. You might be um, a bag maker and you want to start including a bit of patchwork, but you don't want to go to the extent of sewing individual squares together. This is a great way of doing it. Really fab. Now, um, let me just show you something else. Uh, let's just grab a little bit of fabric. Let me grab a little bit of fabric because I just want to show you something else that you might do. And that is, so um, I've got some squares cut out, but what about some rectangles? Uh, I just wanted to see I'd got some lighter fabric. Hmm. Never mind, never mind. It's all right, don't worry, don't worry. So what I'm going to do here is cut out some rectangles of fabric. Okay, just to show you that it's not just for squares. Although I do think for squares, it is genius, isn't it? And those pixelated quilts. There was a real trend a few years ago for Minecraft quilts. So um, that's another option if you love Minecraft. So when you're cutting out your fabrics, like I say, you want to cut out, you're cutting out whole inches. So don't start adding on half inches. You're going to cut out, you know, one inch squares, two inch squares, three, four, and so on. I'm cutting out a two inch strip and I'm erring on the skinny side. And then what I'm going to do is cut four inch lengths, four inch rectangles. And I should be able to get two lots out of this. Just one. Now let's have a little look at Linda's Heather's bag. Heather's bag. Oh, that's yummy. 
That's yummy. I made the zipped pouch using the method you're demonstrating. Thanks for more ideas. Heather, I love that. And I love the fact that you've used it on point. Lots of you using Japanese inspired fabric. Really enjoying that. Maybe if you've got some uh, Yakoseto fabrics, that would be good. That would be good. Mm, you could, couldn't you? You really could. Now then, let me just grab my gridded interfacing back and I just want to show you how you could also use rectangles. All right, so I'll just pop that down there. So here are my rectangles. Um, I'm just going to iron that, it's a little bit creased. Okay, right, so my rectangle now, it's two inches wide and then four inches in length. Um, oh, I didn't get the fold out of my fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these. Oh, I haven't quite got that in the right place. Let's just move that over. Yeah, it's, do you know, it's really fun placing them. And if you want to get kids involved in crafting as well, or get them to help you do your sewing, get them placing the fabric. So I'm going to start by placing those ones like that. Um, and then I'm also going to place corners as well. And then what I could do, now what I wouldn't be able to do here is fill that centre in with individual squares because I've got to be able to fold and I'm going to sew right through. But what I can do here is to put a four inch square in the centre. So I'm going to grab my fabric and I'm going to cut a four inch square to go in the centre. I mean, you could just, why not just play with your stash? Why not just see what you come up with? Um, trust me, and I mean, I've said this many, many times before, if you want to use up your scraps or you want to have a go at sort of designing your own quilt, there is nothing like cutting a bunch of, of patches and then just playing with physical pieces of fabric, you know, to inspire a design. Because sometimes, you know, when you just sit there with maybe gridded paper or a computer screen, you just cannot see the wood for the trees. But once you start playing with fabric, um, it just all seems to come together. So I've got my little square cut out now. Again, I haven't got the crease out, so I'm going to give it a press. There we go. There we go. Right. So there's my centre square. I mean, perhaps more jazzy colours than I would normally pick, but hey. So once that's fused down then, remember, literally you're going to have four seams to sew. So you're going to um, flip this, flip it over. I haven't ironed it down, but you'll flip it over there and you'll sew along there. And then you'll do the same at the top and then clip, clip. And then you'll fold in the sides and sew straight down there. And that's it. That will be it. But remember, you could make this same block with half inch finished squares. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I use two inch squares to start with this and they've gone down to an inch and a half. If I'd used the single um, squares, this would be... Um, four five this would be a two and a half inch square finished but just as easy to sew because we're using that gridded interfacing absolute genius genius <laughs> don't forget to check out your baskets on that first time we've had this gridded interfacing in on its own it's normally in a kit but this is your chance to get it on its own and do what you want to do with it be inspired by some of our other sewers who've sent in pictures like this one right here from Sally. Oh, that's gorgeous. So a sewing roll. Now those must be half inch squares. Now, if you've got very, very precious fabrics. Now, I don't know if that's Sally Ann Harrison who sent in that picture or if it's a different Sally, but um, Sally Ann Harrison and I were having a conversation very recently about 
you know, making things with very, very precious fabric or very, very expensive fabric where you've only got a tiny amount. Um, beautiful project to make and uses really small pieces of fabric, but in a way that's easy to sew. I love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Uh, do remember to, to check out your basket. Well, you, morning, Stuart. Enjoying the demos. Lovely to see you again. Oh, thank you. It's lovely to be back. Lovely to be back. Now, just to let you know, over 200 of you have checked out your baskets with your gridded Vlieseline. And it is from Vlieseline. They are, you know, so synonymous with interfacings. But it's easy, isn't it, to think of interfacing as something you just put in to stiffen a collar or just something there to provide structure. But this gridded interfacing actually makes patchwork and especially small patchwork, pixelated patchwork, easy and fast and achievable. I mean, literally, trust me, <laughs> no effort required. Really no effort required, no skill required. Only placing the squares within the lines. That's all you've got to do. Fuse it down, fold it, sew it. Okay, I'll keep you informed on the stock, but it's only going one way. It is definitely only going one way. Mm, now then, let's look at something completely different. Let's look at the Celtic Dreams panel. Uh, now this isn't in any of the bundles that I'm going to show you. So this stands alone. The uh, collection launched just a few days ago. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We're limited. We're limited. I'm going to hold it up first of all, just so you can see. You've got these four fabulous large uh, panels, a hexagon within a square. I love the bees and thistles. We've got a couple of those. We've got the Highland Coo, and then we've also got that gorgeous bit of Celtic knotwork there. Now, straight away, I'm thinking gorgeous cushions, of course. Um, layered, each one layered and then quilted. Now, if you want to practice your free motion machine quilting, I mean, you could start by just, you know, um, straight line quilting around here with a walking foot. But then what about doing a little loop the loop through going all the way around this border? What about free motion quilting? and almost embroidering into the thistle. Um, a third of the stock of this panel's already gone. It's only the second time on air. Love this one with the teasels. Absolutely gorgeous. When I was a little boy and growing up in Cheeksbury, there used to be a shop that used to sell, they were like mice dressed as Victorians and the mice were teasels. I'll just offer that up. Um, <laughs> you could make a bed runner using this. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Just as a wall hanging, you could use this as the, the front on a large bag. You could cut out the hexagon, of course, as well, and use that to maybe applique that, a brodery purse applique that onto a larger piece of fabric if that's suited. What about using that as the centre of a medallion quilt or a frame quilt, and then build up some patchwork and frames around it? Um, and again, of course, that gorgeous Highland Coo. Hello there. Hello, Coo. Do you know, we really want these on the farm, and they're small. I don't know if you knew this, but Highland cows, they're not like big full-size cows. They're really quite small, very cute, very cute. We could have a pet one here, couldn't we? Please, please, I'll feed it. Did you used to do that when you were a child? I'll feed it, please. No, we're not having a Highland cow, and that's that. Love the colours as well, that gorgeous soft teal, the purple lilac, just beautiful, and those little accents of gold. Now then, we've got some bundles of fabric that go with. The, the panel isn't in any of those bundles, remember. Right, nice and soft and subtle, this one, the cream bundle. Oh, look at these hexagons. Now, some of these fabrics are only available in their bundles, respective bundles, including these hexagons. That is smashing. That's really smashing. Hello, lovely. 
beautiful beautiful love all of these again you could fussy cut each of these hexagons out and repiece them you could use it as a whole piece of fabric it would be amazing as a border print as well so you're getting half a meter of that you're getting this gorgeous uh, kind of Celtic knot tonal and all over that's beautiful do you know Lewis and Irene really do some fantastic fabrics and they're they have their very own look don't they you can spot Lewis and Irene fabrics amazing price aren't they 6.99 a half meter just superb just superb that's lovely this is one of my favorites this is gorgeous now this would work really nicely with William Morris fabrics wouldn't it this would work really lovely with um, Liberty fabrics as well yeah very nice very nice soothing calm soft and subtle beautiful beautiful fabrics so you're getting five half meters in that bundle for 34.95 that is a really good price isn't it now that with your panel would work really nicely opens up a whole load of possibilities so that's the light collection medium we've called this heather oh again just so beautiful can't we just have them all there are single figures of this one absolutely delicious um, again you know you've got that gorgeous hexagon on that teal background that is amazing this fabric I must open this one out the little bees buzzing around now this one it has that the belly of the butterfly with that mirror image symmetry um, for fussy cutting for kaleidoscoping absolutely stunning and all those beautiful colors in there um, that lovely little Celtic knot seven of these bundles remaining that is delicious do you know it's interesting isn't it I love all of the fabrics and the patterns are great but this print is my favorite I'd have bolts of that I think that's just lovely and then this one again very bedroomy isn't it lovely soft imagery soft colors as well yeah what about jazzing up the spare room forget the spare room what about jazzing up my room what am i chopped liver i love that phrase <laughs> ah and then our last bundle are the darks dark heather dark and moody there are only five of the oh hello hello you where have you been hiding <laughs> yeah i'm not talking to you hannah <laughs> oh my goodness oh that is so gorgeous isn't it it's that purpley blue inky background that just makes everything pop and this is a sea holly sea holly and um thistles <gasps> i think it's sea holly or something similar oh beautiful love it again this is bringing out the bag maker in me i want to make bags um was i right was i right sea holly it's spiky well it's a florist's favorite isn't it charlie sometimes if i've been very good charlie buys me beautiful flowers from a florist in harrogate and there always seems to be some sea holly in there so i'm imagining it's pretty posh and special that's yeah <laughs> probably found it on the central reservation on a <laughs> and then those gorgeous hexagons how fantastic is that and i just love that bit of auburn and that ginger that really just make the purple come to life don't they smashing keep checking out on those 34.95 which means you're only paying 6.99 per half meter and frankly in a world where everything don't get me started on petrol where everything has gone <laughs> isn't it wonderful that we can still get really beautiful fabric for 6.99 a half meter and still i'm stocking up my stash i'm just saying now then 
A message, a message, a message in a bottle. Oh, oh, Julie's been busy with this collection. Oh, Julie. Julie says, I love these fabrics. I've been making bits and pieces for my next craft fair. Best wishes to Mummy Hillard. Lots of love, Julie. Oh, thank you. If you missed it earlier on, my mum fell on Saturday and broke her leg. Really? Poor love. want to give her a big hug well, I've given her lots of big hugs but poor lamb but she's doing really well she's I saw her yesterday I saw her all weekend she's sitting in an armchair yesterday absolutely full of beans you can't keep a good woman down trust me mummy Hillard is a good woman um, that interfacing by the way the gridded interfacing less than 100 units left now that sounds like a lot um, but there's over 70 of them in baskets. Um, so if I was to say that there were 30 units left, um, we'd definitely be at sort of like panic stations. Now, I'm not sure what you want to check out. We're assuming that you're all buying a meter, but if you're buying two, three, four, we wouldn't know that. So actually those 70 baskets could well be more stock than we've actually got. So check out your basket. It is the first time we've ever had the gridded interfacing available on its own. It's a genius product. It's a genius product. This is what I did, but you can do actually some really impressive things. Lots of you have sent in pictures with very impressive projects that you've made, um, special projects that have pride of place, bags, wall hangings, full-size quilts as well, easy, quick, accurate, and a bit of fun as well. And on the back, look, you can see I've twisted my seam allowance. Silly, Stuart. I said have a system and then I didn't have a system, but there you go, you know. I'm talking live on air as well, aren't I? But super easy to use. And you could also make some really impressive things like the Tilda um, floral bouquet quilt, which is a free pattern on the Tilda website. Just go to their website. You can download the pattern for free. They've used their solids. Um, look, I mean, look at that. Look at that. And if you look on Instagram, it is everywhere. It seems like everybody's making their version of that quilt. I spotted this about mm, maybe six weeks ago. And I said straight away to everyone here, that is going to be the quilt of the summer. But who'd fancy cutting out all those and piecing all those individual squares? Not I, not I. Now, yes, some solid fabrics to go with the Celtic fabric from Lewis and Irene. Um, these are lovely. These would just work really nicely. Now, if you wanted to do a an all purple, all solid trip around the world or Bargello style with your gridded interfacing, you could use these purple fabrics. These would go brilliantly. Just do a an ombre effect. And again, you know, rather than the traditional way of cutting you know, sewing strips together and then cutting them up and then shifting them around. But actually, very time efficient way of doing it, straight onto the gridded interfacing and just do squares and place them and create those lovely undulating sort of Bargello swirls. Fuse them down, fold and stitch. That's it. Half a metre of each of these. Now, colour wise, we've got... <laughs> We're revealing to everyone now that I have no idea what these three purples are called. Light purple, medium purple, dark purple. Right, amethyst, light lilac, lavender. Thank you, we got there in the end. I want my hair all those colours. Gorgeous. Plus, £11.37 for a metre and a half. Amazing. Uh, Rose and Hubble quality as well beautiful beautiful now we've also got a little green bundle just two fabrics in this one but again they really complement the Celtic collection from um, uh, yeah Lewis and Irene fabrics absolutely gorgeous this would go beautifully little accents of green so you're getting a full meter half a meter of each chartreuse and moss very nice, very nice. Now, 
Now, don't forget that interfacing that we've all been getting very excited um, is 90 centimeters wide, you're getting a meter and it's pre-cut. It's pre-cut. It's not near 0 0.9 centimeters. I don't know why. I got confused. That got sent to me on an email. I thought, what? what? It's 90 centimeters wide, one meter in length. Pre-cut. So if you multiply, and most of you have multi-bought on that, um, you'll get separate pieces. But remember, joining it together is as easy as cut it down to the block, rectangle, whatever. Right sides together, quarter inch seam allowance. And then I just recommend that you press that um, seam allowance open. All right, so just press that seam open. Um, brilliant product, brilliant product, something to get excited about. Now, is there, is there time for me to demonstrate the batting tape? Are we gonna do that at 12? Okay, we'll do that at 12. That's the batting tape, if we've got any left. Yes. Okay. The little hexes that are Celtic knots. Is it these ones? Yes. Okay. Let me just pull them out of the bundle. So we've got all three. Okay. So the only fabrics that we've got from this Celtic Dreams collection from Lewis and Irene are these three fabrics here. Okay. Which We'll start with the darkest. It's almost like a periwinkle, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And this would be my choice for something like um, inner and outer borders, bindings. I would also be thinking about using this for things like a background. Can you imagine this is the background and then doing Celtic knot work, you know, bias binding or bias fabric in Celtic knots, appliqued on top of this dark background. So maybe some use something like the light Celtic knot work on that background, just sensational. So that's by the half meter, six ninety nine. The quality is incredible. It's absolutely beautiful quality cotton fabric. The print quality is sensational. So, you know, basically what I'm saying is, if this was Moda, it would be seven pound forty nine. It's six pounds 99 per half meter it is absolutely comparable in terms of quality of everything now the mid-tone this is almost like a puce isn't it again really pretty lilac lilac absolutely gorgeous super pretty again by the half meter and then just to finish off the hour we've got the cream Again, just a really good staple. And that's your cream with like a sort of tan. Now in the next hour, we've got Kerry from Living in Loveliness coming back. She's going to be showing us how to make the um, over the armchair craft caddy. Super design that, absolutely brilliant patterns, kits available. I'm going to shut up and give my voice a rest. I'm just going to hand over to Kerry and that will be loveliness personified. I'll see you after the break. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Town Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. 
Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi there friends, thanks for your company today here on Sewing Street, I'm Stuart Hillard and uh, thank you also so much for all the messages for my mum who's in hospital at the moment, lots of love going, going her way, um, thank you for that, really appreciate that. Now in this hour we've got Kerry from Living in Loveliness We're back. back for another hour. Um, we'll keep you for longer if we can. And in this hour, we're going to be looking in, in depth at the brand new Sofa Caddy. Now, I just want to let you know, there is a panel and a pattern for this. Now, the panel and pattern combo, already 16 of you have gone for that and have got those and checked out. The pattern on its own, 50% of the stock has already sold out. Now we're going to start with the purple bundle. It's a genius project here, absolutely genius project. It's going to sit on your armchair or on your leg, hold all your bits and bobs. You've got a zip pocket in there, a pin cushion, space for your pens or scissors. Absolutely brilliant and such a comfy rest on your leg or on the arm of your chair, everything to hand. If you're traveling in the car, perhaps you could take it with you there as well. Now. Let me show you, this is the panel. Now what we've got here, you've got the panel and everything is printed. So literally all you've got to do is cut out the pieces and follow the instructions to put them together and you'll be able to reproduce Kerry's example perfectly, all right? So I love a printed panel. It means everything's easy. You can cut it out with scissors. You don't have to think about getting the measurements right <laughs> or miscutting anything, all right? So that's your panel. And then you're also getting the full instructions. Now, these instructions don't just tell you how to make up the panel. They tell you the sizes, the dimensions for making it again and again and again. So I think that's an absolute boon. That makes this pattern a thousand times more valuable to me and to you because you can make it again and again. But a gorgeous version made using that panel to start with. And also as well, it kind of eases you in, doesn't yeah. it, to making it before you start cutting out your own fabrics and working out those dimensions, you can use the panel. But that has been very, very popular. So if you're loving those purples, Half the stock now has gone. Really popular, really popular. I think it's those lovely, it's a really soft, gentle purple. We find whenever we bring purples or lilacs, they're oh. just so popular. They're yeah. just such a beautiful tone, aren't You've they? You've got to get it right though, haven't you? Yeah. And this would work with all those sort of silvers and greys that are so yeah. popular now. Yeah. It's a lovely, it's, do you know, like neutral New, purple? But yeah. Yeah. It's that sort of, and I just love this sort of very soft aqua mint. Yeah, it's beautiful just with the little dipsy print. Gorgeous. And check this out, the little scissors and pins. Just delightful. Lots of little skills in there to build up your confidence. Don't worry if you missed out. And I just love how it all tucks together as well. <laughs> Isn't that neat Great and to tidy? Pop in your handbag. Then just to pop in your handbag or in your bag to take away with you, or if you're traveling and you want to put all your kit inside there and then just open it all out and straight on your armchair. That's me for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Bye everyone. Yes, all bit, I need bit is- of chocolate like you said. Chocolate cake, tea, <laughs> wine in the evenings. Sounds like a fabulous weekend. Love it. So that's that panel with the pattern. Fabulous. That is flying out though. The other bundle, the other colourway that we've got, and you're using this for this the is demo, the one I'm using aren't you, in Kerry? The demo, yeah. Oh, 
Now this is beautiful. It's a sort of soft pinky claret, but again, it's got that gorgeous aqua, hasn't it? Can't decide now, I feel completely torn. I feel completely torn. How lovely is that? Really soft, somewhere between magenta and purple, and then with that lovely aqua tones. You do pick some lovely colours. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So again, you're getting your full size panel. Everything's printed and not just in big squares that you've then got to start measuring. You've actually got all the individual elements printed plus your pattern, which again, doesn't just explain how to use the panel. You can make this again and again and again. Now, um, Pauline's asked, good question this, what wadding do you need with the sofa caddy and how much I need to go? She's in a rush. Oh, how much, very, what do we need? very quick, let me very quickly tell you what you need. I can't remember. In fact, it'll tell you on the back of the It will tell you on the back. Um, you need a, a 21 inch square of quilt batting, but I'm assuming if you'd got a longer rectangle. Yes, absolutely. So you've yeah. got two small pieces. Scraps, where you really, use this. I would yeah. say. Scraps. Um, and 50 grams of stuffing for the pin cushion. But again, you could use chopped up batting oh, for yeah, that, absolutely. couldn't you? You could cobble it together. In fact, we like a cobble if project. you've got loads of little bits of batting and you need to seam them together, seam tape, we've got se batting seam tape. I wouldn't be without my seam Scraps. tape. Scraps. We like use out of every little, every little Every piece. last scrap. You pay the same for a little scrap as you do for the whole big piece, don't you? It's all Absolutely. the same. Now, if you want instructions on their own, remember these give you full instructions for actually cutting out from fat quarters, from meterage, from, from whatever. The pattern on its own is 9 99 Really good pattern. It's thick. It's a thick pattern. All the full size templates? Full size templates in there and you've got your step by step photo with each step. I love that and I love your templates because they show where you place things like yes. if there's a button or a placement yes. for a handle it's all shown. Nine ninety nine for that but I do need to tell you stock wise over well we've got less than 20 left. We've got less than 20 of those left. That's really flown, hasn't it? Really flown. Um, Trudy says, good morning, Stuart. Sending lots of love to you, Mum. Uh, hope that she makes a speedy recovery. Thank you. She's got, she's she's going that way, definitely. Um, uh, Christine's just saying, yeah, you use it over the top of your armchair. It's such a clever project. Whether you put it over your, the arm of your chair, over your leg, um, over a patient dog. I'm kidding. <laughs> Somebody said, I don't know who said it this morning, I heard somebody say, pop it on a sausage dog. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that is really a genius cute. idea, just going to hope genius. the dog doesn't run off. Genius. <laughs> now, um, you do need a small zip for this project as well, so don't you? So this one is a six inch zip. A six inch zip. Now we've got some beautiful zips from Kerry from Living in Loveliness. We'll start with white. Now you get um, a pack of five six inch zips here, all in white. Absolutely perfect. These would work with either of the uh, panels. They'd also work with the um, scraps oh, that you yeah. might have, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, we don't all live next door to a haberdashery. I don't, when I see zips, I buy them. <laughs> yeah. I do, I buy them by the handful. 3 99 that's a brilliant price too. Fantastic price. Um, then, black, plain black. So kind of got your darks and your lights covered there. So five, plain black six inch zips you only need one for the caddy only right one for the caddy, that's yeah. superb then brights i can sing a rainbow zip a rainbow like love them <laughs> love them um will they be these exact colors or they might are they, be? Those oh, colors, they are yeah. exact colors so we've got a like a bottle green a blue an orange a bright pink hot pink and a yellow <laughs> sunshine a two love hot pink <laughs> <laughs> and I'm then, never going to be able to say that without doing that little shimmy. I know, I you have a little help. shimmy as well, then, I Stuart. can't help myself. The shoulders go up. I go, hot pink. Um, oh, the hand went out. Pastels. Pastels. And those are delightful, too. Light lemon, mint, pale blue. There's a lilac and there's a pink. Really lovely. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, Kerry. That was quick. Shall I'm handing play? to you. Shall yes, please. Can I come over and join you? Yay, come over. Right. 
What if you'd said no? Well, I would never say that to you on air. <laughs> 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 I would never say that to you. You are anyway. awful, but I like oh, you. Oh, well, we're just talking to Pauline and we're saying how lovely and supportive you are. So. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, so we've I had a lovely Pauline. chat. Were your ears burning? They had were. A lovely chat about you, they you were. I was shivering up and down thing. my spine. <laughs> Well, you didn't need to be. We were saying how wonderful you were. Oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so I've cut all of the collections out of the fabric. Now, it's entirely up to yourself. You have got these labelled, your main top and your back panel, but you can play with these and swap these around, certainly on the main panel and also your pocket as well. So there's some uh, recommendations there, but they are the same template. So if you wanted to go red, uh, your reds and then you mint green mm. or you want the same colour you can play with this one which is really lovely about this panel Perfect. now in the panel you'll see on mine I have quilted I've just done some nice easy straight line quilting but for today's demo uh, it's a really nice quick project as mm. well this one like all of our projects yeah. really so just using a little bit of 505 especially if you're going to quilt this it'll just help secure this into place so just a little bit. 505 is just one of my hero products. Oh, I would not be without it. Me neither. Me neither. There's nothing worse than an empty can, is there, and not a spare. So well, I always buy multiples because I just can't bear the thought of ever running no, out. No, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I wouldn't be without it. Mm. Nor my wash away quilt estate, which I've managed to come without today. Would and you believe we it? And have all run these out. Stories. And we have run out. <laughs> oh, I've got to get better. I told you. Chaos, Stuart. There we go. So just popping this on the back and you can change your mind at a later stage which way you want those to go. Now if you're going to quilt this like I've done in the step-by-step -step instructions and on the demo that Stuart's shown you uh, earlier this morning, the first thing I did here is to just give myself a guideline using um, a friction pen there just to give myself the first line and then just using the walking foot for this or just your standard foot whichever you prefer to work with and I've just done some uh, straight lines on there but you could do some really fabulous things some stippling on there would look wonderful as well so not essential to quilt not essential but I it just does add a nice finish I doesn't like it, it yeah, yeah. And, and it's I a good chance to practice absolutely absolutely so the next thing we're going to do is the same with the pocket so just a little 505 there to secure it. And again, you can um, put this whichever way you want to when we come to attach this to the panel. And can I just say as well, the absolute genius of Kerry to leave these on as tabs to mark what each piece is. That oh yeah, I normally has no, just blown my mind. I was looking that. thinking, what the, oh my goodness, that's on the panel. It's on the panel. So there is one, and I'll, when we get to it, I'll mention that one that hasn't got the right in it. Clever so sausage. I'll mention it, but we like we like an easy life. That is. We like an easy genius. life. Genius. So in the pattern, <laughs> uh, I recommend either to write it on there mm. or to clip your template, as I did in the earlier show. But the panel just makes it so easy. Really does. So easy, and you haven't got to worry about trimming this away because it naturally will just. Go into your seam allowance. Seam, yeah. Just go into the seam. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is we've got the binding in this absolutely beautiful mint colour here. That is gorgeous. Absolutely it's gorgeous. Lovely, isn't it? A nice and, colour. And every single element comes from the panel. We don't need any additional fabric no, at all. No additional fabric. I am going to tell you about the purple. In fact, if you wouldn't mind yeah, if I course. show you the purple one. Yes. So this actually, this actually wasn't originally part of the panel. But, as you know, with the panels that are created, yep. there's always that extra little little flower or little accessory on there. And yep. I just thought it would be such a shame not to showcase these. It's too these. cute not to use. It's lovely, isn't it? Brilliant. So, although you have got, when we move on to it, I'll cover that again. Although you have got a piece for your pincushion, I just thought for the pincushion, yeah. it's just a nice way to get the most from your panel. Love it. Now, I should just tell you that purple panel and pattern combo single figures left there are single figures well done if you've got yours what a fun weekend We've sewing or evening or how absolutely. long would you say it would take to make for, for this yeah a couple of hours you can do it in an hours. evening or oh, afternoon absolutely, yeah. gorgeous absolutely so your thread catcher binding um this isn't written onto your panel so i've just um, I've actually written it on there. You can refer back to your templates and pop this on if you want to, but that is the G piece in your panel. You've got the templates to refer back to. And we'll prep this now. So on the shortest raw edge, I'm going to fold that over by a quarter inch and press. 
and this just makes for the sweetest little binding. Mm. And again, folding it. Now, if like me, you're leaving that quarter inch on here, we don't want to see the white in the fabric, so I'm going to press from behind and just align it through those fabrics there. Oh, just let that little label overhang. Just let it overhang and we can sew that into position and tuck that into the seam, as you said. So we'll give that a little press as well. So the first thing to do is to pop the binding, I think, I'll go for the red on the exterior. Oh yeah, that yeah, contrast lovely, is lovely. Mm. Beautiful. So just clipping this into position. Big fan of clips. Oh, I love them. Absolutely love them. What do we do before when we pin? Lots of pinning. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots of pinning. I can't remember what we did. Or hoping for the best. <laughs> well, it was more that, wasn't it, really? <laughs> just holding on and a wing and a prayer. Absolutely. The grip of death. <laughs> Don't pull apart. And we try and push out. I mean, little things, but certainly, you know, there are occasions where we need those clips. Especially because this, we've got a lot of... Um, a lot of layers. For me, it's, it's rarely the big tools, the big things that are the game changers. It's often something really small, Bodkin's isn't it? Bodkin's my favourite. Yeah, thing. yeah. A Bodkin. I wouldn't be without Bodkin. No. Bodkin clips. Sort of reminds me how revolutionary the safety pin yeah. must have been when it was invented. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine the excitement? Yeah, I can. <laughs> and it's such a little thing, isn't mm. it? So we've just sewn across the binding there, and as I mentioned, we can tuck this over. So bringing this over now onto the back, mm -hmm. just clipping that back into position, and again, working with the zigzag stitch. Not only is it decorative, but I do like using the zigzag stitch on binding, mm -hmm. because it, you just know that you're going to catch that on the back. Yeah. Yeah, but actually, if you want a sort of softer, more subtle look, yeah. using the aqua mint on the outside, it still looks beautiful with that self-coloured binding, definitely, doesn't it? Definitely, definitely. So I'm just resting this in the centre of the foot there, and I know one that we've got that lovely equal decorative stitch, but that I'm catching the opposite side as well. You can hand sew this as well if you want to. Yeah. Look at that. Just looks great, doesn't Quick it? Quick and easy. And it does, it looks beautiful. And you're using like a soft lilac so thread, I've aren't you, for that? So I've chosen lilac for this one, really yeah. Pretty. But the mint would have worked really mm. well, wouldn't it? Mm. So when we come to box the corners on this one now, just making sure all your layers are together. And we're going to fold this and align those raw edges. Okay. At this point, oh. we want to put the folded edge along this folded edge here. Oh. I have still got the, in fact, I'll cut that off so it's a bit easier mm. to see on the screen there. I was going to lend you my very special scissors oh. there. I'm going to get them out ready so you can have a go. Oh, they are very special they indeed, are very aren't nice they? Ones. What a treat. Mm. <laughs> they were a birthday present from were Dexter they? Jones. I remember when I first started sewing and my mum bought me a pair of scissors, two pairs of scissors for Christmas, mm. and mine was almost like, Really? Why is that That's so all exciting? You've got? Yeah. That's all you've got. And I was like, oh no, this it's is all I need. very special. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> all I'll ever need. So we're lining up the folded edge, and it's important here, this will help us when we come to attach this to the panel. So this will sit a quarter inch away from that. Ah, raw it's not edge. meant to go to the bottom. It's not meant to go to the I bottom. I would have panicked. So this then helps us when we come to attach that and turn the corner on the binding. So we'll do this on both sides. Mm -hmm. And again, I love watching how other designers work and, and make things because I would never have thought of this method in a million years. Really? Mm, never. No. I apologise now if I steal your ideas. You have my permission. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't steal them, you know, but I mean, obviously I'll adapt it, my, them. My, uh, my yeah. son's, um, he's at school and they have a magpie book. Ah, and they magpie. What clever idea. And it's called Magpie for Inspiration. Ah. So you can I would magpie. probably magpie your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it to you. Can what I, makes you think can I ever I, do your homework? <laughs> can I magpie your answers for this spelling test, please? <laughs> Don't trust me for spelling. No. <laughs> okay, that was binding, my first mistake. Binding, yeah, Fair enough. binding. So straight off the edge. <laughs> straight off the edge, absolutely. Okay. Binding, yeah, all the way. Don't trust me for I have to have an editor check it. <laughs> 
I think though with computers we've all got a little bit yeah. complacent haven't we I know oh, I have and spelling is definitely my thing but um there we go so when you come to sew this and I may not have time to do you do need it to today, trim that little bit off I'm not going to you, you can sure if you, you don't want, want to oh yeah those beautiful serrated edges oh, not, yeah are these your personal stash yeah they are <gasps> I feel very special I know aren't they good they're very good indeed so we don't sell them but I'm going to ask <laughs> to get them well, sorry this is it. it's a nice recommendation yeah. isn't it I, yeah. I love mine as well so we're folding this over the edge now let's do this on this side it might be a bit easier and as we fold this across at, at this stage mm -hmm. this is encasing the bottom that raw edge there and when you're sewing you will hand sew I mean you could zigzag but I have hand sewn this one and then just bring this edge together mm -hmm. and just a nice little over over stitch here just to secure that into position got you so I'll do all that at the end do you want me to hand sew it for you will Ooh, it help yeah, you a demo that yeah, would yeah. Be wonderful. let me just is the little tub of pins now just to let you know the purple panel and um, pattern has sold out yeah so we've still got the one that you're working with Kerry so which is fab I'm saying there's a hand sewing needle in here and there probably isn't have you got <laughs> yes. a hand sewing needle no not at the side of me I'm afraid ah. no not at the side of me sorry I'll see if I can find one so the next thing we've then got the accessory pocket so what we're going to do on here again is to double hem so over once again just leave that in we can tuck that into the seam or you can trim it away if you would like to and now remember these panels come with full instructions so you don't have to remember any of this or write any of it down you'll get full instructions if you're buying the pattern on its own you can use your stash can't you absolutely mm. So again I've just zigzagged across that hem there and what I'm going to do now is to just pop this onto one end so at this point decide which way so I think I'm going to go for the ditzy print actually because we've got all those other lovely colours in that thread catcher there oh yeah lovely so we'll pop this onto oh you found the needles well mm, done. yeah yeah so we'll pop this onto the sewing machine now mm -hmm. now when you come to mark up your um come to mark up your pocket just use a ruler i think mine disappeared oh you can use mine a little one uh, oh, thank you, Stuart. Oh. my ruler has gone walkabout oh dear oh no here it is have we got it yep. Yep. so just what i tend to do really is decide what i'm going to put in here so for myself uh, it would be things like a pen a bodkin uh, and small items, perhaps a small pair of scissors. My scissors. Well. Yes. Stuart scissors. <laughs> if you see those featuring our photos. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'll be like, the I, that's where it went. <laughs> so uh, just taking the ruler, I'm just going to mark up some two inch or one and a half inch pockets. So just using your pen. First one in, I've gone for two inch. And then just aligning that one and a half inch line and spacing out those pockets here. There we go. And then we'll pop this onto the sewing machine. What I actually did with the purple one is I yep. used the lines because I wanted the line to continue. So I took the guidance from the ah, lines. Okay, on the from where you quilted it, yeah. So just popping this onto the sewing machine, and we're now going to use a straight stitch. Mm -hmm. And I'll increase that stitch actually to the longest stitch length, just allowing the pen to rest on the center of the uh, yes the pen sorry on the center of the machine foot there mm -hmm. and at the top of the pocket if you start by reverse stitching just because we're going to be popping collections in and out of there yeah just make it a bit more secure yeah a bit tougher and to save keep taking this backwards and forwards on the machine and wasting any thread i'm just going to pivot this around start from the raw edge this side oh, okay. and twist and turn for each one of those lines Fair. If you want this version, this version that Kerry's working on, do be quick, won't you? Because your patterns and your panels are proving very, very popular today, Kerry. The pattern on its own, we've got four left. Literally four left, so we won't show that again. Um, it's on the website. Now the bundle that we're working with 
this gorgeous kind of magenta purple version there are 12 left just 12 left so if you want that in your life you will need to be pretty quick are you ready for this now no no i'm, I'm not ready darling i just oh, wondered right. if you could pass me the a pack of the six inch zips please yes the, the six inch ones. zips the five inch zip that's it yep the one the pastels the pastels i really and we've want got to the go perfect color in there haven't we we have oh i'm gonna go minty green I think. yes i knew you would so predictable no it's just i, I would have <laughs> picked that too it's just a perfect match isn't it it's, it's a perfect color that pack of zips by the way you can buy those if you'd like you need to add a zip in don't you yes yeah, you will need to add a zip. So I managed to come without my wash away quilters tape and my sew line glue pen. And all we could find was a refill. But it's worth its weight in gold. Yes. Well, so. you know, in an emergency. <laughs> Work with what we have. Yeah. So for now, what we've got, and I'm not going to um, put the batting at uh, the fusible 505 on here, but we're placing the batting flat. Then aligning the zip pocket on top onto one of these and pressing the zip on top. So making sure that that's centered and excluding that little zip mm -hmm. pocket exterior. So it is the zip pocket exterior, although they are the same fabric. So it really doesn't matter, to be honest. No, you can mix and match, can't you? Absolutely. So I'm going to line this up on top. And what we're going to do next is to just sew along this zip. Now I've got quite a few layers here and I can't see through these. So just taking one of the pins so I remind myself, especially because it's a small piece of fabric, and I don't know about you, Stuart, but at this stage I get quite excited and distracted. Oh yes. So this little pin here is just gonna be a little reminder for me to stop and to close that zip out of the way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm the person that always manages to forget to leave a gap. <laughs> in a bag when I'm putting it together because I'm so on the home run now. It's so easy to do though, isn't it? I think, it really I think is. that's what the seam is for, for the bag linings. Yeah. That's generally when mine yeah. comes out. Yeah. So I've increased my stitch length to the longest stitch and I'm just going to sew along now. Thank you very much for doing that. You're welcome. Leave that needle inserted and remove the pin. This will allow me just to twist the zip out of the way. There we go and close that zip. And now we can sew along the rest of that little zipper there. Oh, Margaret's got in touch to say, my TV would not record your program today. I'm very disappointed. I'd like to watch back again later. Margaret, don't forget, you can always watch the shows back on YouTube. Um, Sue's got in touch to say, morning, Kerry and Stuart, having my rest while watching your show. Oh, lovely. We're, we're, restful, having, we're having we're a rest, pair. aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am. You're not. My uh, mum says I'm like a tornado. Do you agree? <laughs> No, because a tornado, the tornado is destructive uh, well, and you're yeah. creative. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell her. Yeah. She says I'm destructive. Oh, don't, 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 argue, don't argue with your mum. I would don't. be my advice. <laughs> I don't. I just agree. Uh, Sarah's got in touch to say, Sarah Jane's got in touch to say, hi, Stuart and Kerry. Lovely demos. Oh, yeah. Craig really calls nice, me a, loving a hand it. grenade. Oh, does he? Yeah. <laughs> when I'm on a mission to get things finished, he's like, you literally go into a room and it's like, I just chuck something in and it goes, pull the pin. Right, but we Kerry's get so arrived. much done. <laughs> well, yeah. So, I, I, I don't understand people that can be creative and tidy at the I same know, time. I've never managed it. It always yeah. makes me happy when somebody says that they're oh. a messy creative. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we've got the zip pocket exterior. And it's, again, it doesn't matter because you've got the same print on here. And we're placing the zip face down. I have already popped the glue onto the back of there. So encasing that now, so sandwiching that between those two layers. And just as a reminder, I may go a little bit further ahead actually because that was quite tight last time. But we have so much fun doing all of these lovely projects. So yeah. yeah. The tidy up comes afterwards. It's true. And I don't know about you as well. I, I can't possibly create something brand new and write the pattern before or while I'm doing it. No. 
so the I thing keep is finished. Trying, I keep trying different different yeah. ways to do things. Yeah, I have I have changed actually what I'm doing. Um, I am trying to write it as I do it, but normally right. I'll do it, then write it, and yeah. then amend it. Oh no, I just. But I just want to see it come together. Exactly. Exactly. And hope it's like what I had in my head. That's right. <laughs> That's all better. All better. Better would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, because as you say, as you're putting something together, sometimes you think, oh, actually, yeah. if I swap this around a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I love when I see um, my projects made up by other people, yes. and they will make changes or, you know, use the fabrics in a different way, something like that. Uh, I agree with you there, actually. I think there's nothing nicer with the fans group as well. You can see that on there, how mm. people swap them around. Oh, that's you so cute. You can press this if you want to, but I've just folded these back. I've popped a pin in on either side, further enough away from the zip that my needle's not going to come into contact. But because you've got quite a few layers, in fact, I'm going to redo this one, you want to make sure that it's out of the way on both the back and the front. Mm, mm. That zip colour is perfect. It's gorgeous, That's from isn't a pack it? of five six inch zips that you can get from Living in Loveliness. We've got them on the show and these are the pastels and these work absolutely beautifully with this panel, don't they? They certainly do. I'm loving mint and teals and all the mm. different tones of greens and sage as well. I'm sage really liking lovely. sage at the moment. They're very muted for me, actually, because I normally go bright and vibrant. Yes, I made some lovely quilts from your Rainbow Etchings collections oh, when it first came thank out. thank you. I love those. That's a range of fabric that I wish I'd never run out of. Yeah. I would have kept using that for the rest of my life, I think. I've probably got some scraps. Me too. Just little bits left yeah, now. That's probably all I've got left. But then as I well. get emails sometimes from people who say, I've almost finished this and I just need a six inch square oh. of blue. Have you got any? So I keep raiding my stash. <laughs> so you've got less and less. Yeah, it's fine. So this is your little zip pocket that goes in the centre. It's only a little pocket, great for your, I think in mine there might even be the roll and hem, because I tend to use that quite a lot. I'm going to have a look. Let's have a look, I don't know what's in there. I've Let's forgotten. see what's in Kerry's pocket. Actually, it could I be a new segment red. on the show, couldn't it? <laughs> what's in Kerry's pocket? It's thread, am I right, it's thread. It's thread. It was a roll and hem, but I it's changed thread. it to take the photos. You tried to fool us then, <laughs> double bluff. <laughs> Double you were so excited that she was. I feel really mean. I don't there. even know what a rolling, rolling hem. Rolling hem to precious oh, seams. Oh, got you, got you. So we've got two little pocket bindings. I love putting binding onto pockets, and I love using the, you know, the right amount of fabric. So these are your little zip pocket bindings. So I don't need to cut these away again. I'm just going to look through those layers, and we're going to bind this collection mm. in the pattern booklet. Uh, I refer to using the wash away quilt as tape. But as you can see, I'm not using it. No, just pins to Stuart it. lost it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going old school, aren't you? We're going old school. Donna's message. Hi, guys. Just join the show. Which wadding should I use? I've used a Batty 8020, and that's where I generally tend to use yep. in all of, my, all of my kits. But if you'd got scraps of 100% cotton wadding? Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. H640. Hey, any batting will work for this project, to be honest. Yeah, any batting would work. We've actually got um, details for batting on screen. This is the premium cotton crib size wadding. This is an 8020 from Hobbs. And it's the smallest size we do. It's 45 by 60. It's a great crafter's size, that, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely. If you don't have any wadding at all at home. So for this one, I'm going to, similar to what I did with a flap, is sew this directly onto the panel. So I'm mm. not going to cut it, I'm not going to um, do the top stitch on this one just yet. Oh. I'm going to just sew the binding, clip the binding over yes. for now. And we'll just pop that So to when one you side. top stitch, you'll be attaching it to the background. It'll attach directly to the background. Gotcha. But gotcha. we'll get that thread catcher pocket on for now. Mm -hmm. So to attach the thread catcher po pocket, earlier on I mentioned why we leave uh, this quarter inch and that really is to allow us to get this nice and snug onto the corner and also because we're binding this project it allows us to work the binding around the project as well. I'll run out of clips if I've got any more. I've got three here. Oh that's perfect, thank you. 
So just pop in this so it sits nicely into the corner. Same on the opposite side. Do you need one more? If we've got one well, more, that, that one that's fine, yeah, that'll work perfectly. Steal. We'll steal it off there. We'll make point. Oh, magpie. That's what he used to say when he had his like, collection of things. Oh, did he? Like, I'm not Can not I magpie it? I magpied it. Can I just magpie this one? I love that it's quite a black country when people say, can you borrow me Yes. Uh, clip <laughs> rather than can you lend me? I love that. And I heard one of one of my colleagues here say it. I was like, oh, that really takes me. But I used to teach in Dudley. Oh, did you? Yeah, I used to teach in Dudley. And that's where I first heard it. And I had to ask the kids what they meant, <laughs> you know. We, I used to work in a secondary school and I always remember we had a new teacher come and we had a, a meeting and um, she said, I just can't, I'm really struggling. She said, what does I get it you mean? She said, I don't, I don't I've, searched, I've searched the dictionary, she said, and I don't know what it is. I always I remember it. that. I get it you, I gave it to you. No, of course I knew I what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. I didn't really. No, I didn't know what that one was. I hadn't heard that. I always remember that. Um, so we're sewing now into the corner, a quarter inch away, and you've got a nice um, placement to stop because you're stopping just above that binding panel there. And as we pivot and turn this out of the way, mm -hmm. as you just tuck this under the oh, foot, mm -hmm. if we raise that, then you're missing that binding, but you're securing those layers together. Understood. Now, while you're saying that, we've got a question from Joanne who says hi educational morning wish my school teachers had been like you I went to a convent could this caddy be adapted to use on a wheelchair yes on the armrest yes. of the wheelchair I think I'm sure I'll probably come up with something later on a bit better option perhaps we can put it in our next panel but if you were to make like we made the bag handles earlier on today in the earlier hour if you were to make two of those for here, mm -hmm. attach a little bit of hook and loop, and then when this sits onto the arm of your armchair, you can then secure it by your hook and loop. Underneath the... So if I show you what I mean, so if you attach mm. them, I mean, you might need to measure your wheelchair, but if I just use this as a guide, and if you were to put a strip of hook and loop here, perhaps three inches, three inches here, mm. in fact, it would need to be longer, wouldn't it? And if you sew this on to the panel before, so at this stage we'd put this on before we put mm, the zip pocket mm. onto there. And if you sew this on using that technique where you have a square and a cross, then this can rest onto your um, wheelchair and secure by some hook and loop. Velcro around that. the back, yeah, to hold it on securely. Because yeah. I mean... But if you have any better ideas and if you do, if you do that, then mm. please let us. Please I suppose let it us depends know. on the width of the armrest on your yes. chair, doesn't it? But yeah. yeah, I like the idea of having the attachment. That's a that's a good idea. Actually. It's a really really good suggestion. I like that. I've just been tasked actually by another viewer, and I love this, to design a bag which will fit on the back of a wheelchair. Um. And funnily enough, my, one of my very best friends, Maxine, uses a wheelchair and, um, and uh, she has several bags that go on the, the, the back. That's and it's definitely idea. something I need to get into my collection of yeah, patterns. Yeah, that's a great idea. Some of our best patterns come from somebody else's bright Absolutely. idea, don't they, or request. You know, I perhaps wouldn't have thought mm. of that, but I might magpie that idea for a next project. Magpie it. <laughs> magpie it. It's the word of the day. <laughs> We're going to fold this in half to find the centre now, because this is sitting across either your knee, your sofa, or your wheelchair. And once we've got the centre, you can draw this on for your own peace of mind, but we're resting that zip into the centre now. So taking a few pins, Clips. there we go. I'll use oh, pins for this one, thank okay. you darling. We're going to, in fact, I just need to turn the zip. So we want the zip to go at the same end that the little pin cushion goes. So as we push the pins through, just as you slide those pins through, just make sure that you're catching that batting. Mm -hmm. Now I just need to check, Kerry, stockwise on this, it's 10 left, and then it's a complete sellout, everything. How many in baskets? Ah, 13 in baskets, but only 10 left. So please don't all check out. You'd never hear me say that before. You can't all check out. Be quick. When we were talking about different things that people say, mm. I worked uh, as a volunteer in uh, a homeless shelter mm -hmm. many years ago. 
and there was a guy there, wonderful, wonderful guy, and he was from South Africa. Oh yeah. And he used to ask, he was self-taught English, and he used to ask us lots of different questions. What does this mean? What mm -hmm. does this mean? And the reason I remember is I nearly just said it. You know when we say, I do do that? Yes. He said, he asked us, he said, I've been searching the dictionary, it was a long time ago, so Google wasn't such a big uh -huh. thing, but what does I do do mean? I do do. He said, I keep searching the dictionary, and he had this dictionary, and he was like, yeah, do do's yeah. not in here. Yeah. And I was like, it's lovely, isn't it, to listen yeah. to accents where people are from and things that we Well, it makes us realise what we are saying, and yeah. Yeah, it would make complete nonsense And every to time I else. say it, I always think, yeah. I always think about it. Yeah, yeah. I taught in Norfolk for a few few years, and in Norfolk people say, I'm now going, I'm going to now do this, or I'm now going to do this. Yeah. It's very much, there are little phrases, aren't oh, there? I love them. I love mm. listening to, to accents and different things that we say. And also when people ask us what we mean, it's like, mm. oh, I didn't realise that was, uh, didn't realise I, I was saying that so frequently. Mm. So I've pinned this into position. In your pattern booklet, I do refer to using your quilt as wash away tape just under here, mm -hmm. because it will secure it in place. But you can see that pins do exactly the same things. And as usual, I'm just going to zigzag stitch over the folded edge here to secure this onto the panel. Got you. So it's the outer folded edge. The outer folded edge. Well, it, I, in fact, I think in the pattern it's outer folded, but you'll see on my sample there, I just felt it needed both sides doing. So I did actually do it both sides on the samples. Mm. Mm. Such an adaptable pattern. <coughs> I've had some other suggestions from some of you got in touch about um, having this over the back of a walker, yeah. over like a zimmer as well, <coughs> excuse me, which is a fantastic idea as well, because actually having that big roomy um, bit bag on the front could just be how you yeah. transport things yeah. around, couldn't you? And you, we could put a little flap. I to make I one of these for my mum. Oh, well, I need to make one for oh. my mum for now. Yes. Oh, is it your you just said your mum's in hospital. Yeah, she, she broke her leg. Oh, which one should we send your mum? This one or this one? Which oh, one I'll, make like? one. I'll make a one. I'll well, make a one. Well, we've got the panels made up here. Which one oh, should we send your way. mom? You're too kind. You're and too then when kind. you see your mom, you can take her a little present. I will do. I will do. I'll fill it with things like snacks and, or jelly babies would be my mum's <laughs> thing. Jelly babies. Jelly, jelly babies. I took mum jelly babies on Saturday and of course she just had, you know, a surgery. She wasn't interested. Aww. And then the following morning when I went <laughs> she in. She changed her mind. All there was was a small <laughs> piece of cellophane. <laughs> I was like, is that all that's left of the bag of jelly babies? I say to Craig, you know, if he nips to the shop and he says, do you want anything? I'll say, surprise me. And then he comes back and I'll say, oh, didn't really fancy chocolate. And he'll say, oh, really? And then when there's the empty pack, he said, you really didn't. Fancy you really didn't that, fancy did that. No. Well, it was just there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, you say, surprise me, she comes back and says, I didn't get you anything. <laughs> yeah, you, did, you used to do that. You say, I didn't, I didn't know what you wanted. Oh, well, that's, that's <laughs> fighting talk, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I think he did that once, and I was like, well, that's right. He said, well, you said yeah. surprise, so surprise, I've yeah. had nothing. Yeah. I was like, that's the worst surprise. Yeah. Note to self, Craig, <laughs> don't do it again. <laughs> So we've got your pocket secured into position there. Yes. Now your uh, panel, um, I did notice your panel, this is marked up as G. Uh, it's actually the larger one on the panel. So your G piece is actually your binding piece and your pin cushion is N. So it's the bigger of the panels. For the scissor one, it's easy to tell because you have the scissors. And for the panel that I'm working with, you have this beautiful little print uh, on this side here. So what we want to do is to just check that size. So I've cut this, the, um, the G section, then I've overcut this slightly. It was intended to be the opposite way around, but I really want to feature this uh, into my panel as well. So and that's just like a little added extra, isn't just it? That a, yeah, floral. I just love that these are, I love that these are on the panel. Mm -hmm. So I'll just pop this on top. So pretty. True disaster. Hello, Stuart. Can this kit be used for beginner level as I'm just starting out? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, all of your pieces are there for you. You've got all of your steps, but you've got some lovely techniques in here as well. So you've mm. got your zip installation um, in there. Uh, the photos in the pattern booklet yeah. are really close up and clear in the pattern booklet yeah. as well. And then just, you know, you've got your patterns. I think perhaps the, the most difficult part of the panel is the zip installation, but using... It's not uh, though, is it? It's no, not difficult. No, I mean, I know lots of people 
um, try, we'll avoid doing zips sometimes. Mm. Can I borrow your lovely scissors, Stuart? Of course. Um, I know that very often people will avoid zips, but I think the first thing to do really is to start with a zip. Yeah. Um, and once you've got that zip there, so I am slightly changing what's on my panel. And insert it a few times in a piece of spare fabric. Yeah, absolutely. Practice it like you'd practice any other skill. And the easiest thing, I mean, in this one I've used batting, just avoid using anything extra that makes it mm. um, that makes it any bigger. So we're placing this on top. This panel is actually six inches by, because I've cut this one down, six by three for the pin cushion. And what I'm going to do, just bring that back in, sorry, is sew around all three edges there. Just leave what, the long side open? Um, well, I always tend to, um, I always tend to, come across just into the corner oh, okay. so I'm just leaving a three inch gap gotcha. there and gotcha. just again using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now only nine of these panels and um, patterns left and way way more of them in baskets than we've got so please please check out. Um, I'm going to be going through the accessory roll and also the file cover in the next hour as well i'll show you those we haven't had time today but and also those inside vinyl pockets oh they've sold out they've sold out but the outer yeah great okay i'll go through those in the 12 o'clock hour ah we'll have time just at the end of this hour we'll that's time. fine that's fine great this is the last little bit that i'll mm -hmm. show today so we're going to turn this inside out. This just makes a really sweet little pocket. Mm, little pin cushion, is it? A little pin cushion, mm. yeah. There we go. And we've got that nice little floral design. So I have overcut that panel. Pokey tool? Oh, very helpful, thank well, you. Well, I just went into your very handy accessory roll and it was there, well, you see. You see? You see, there is, a, for this. there is a benefit <laughs> for being organised, <laughs> Kerry. I keep telling you. <laughs> So this is going to rest just on the side of the pocket. So I'm just popping the stuffing in just into that little pin cushion. I've said 50 grams in the pattern, but you can see I'm only using a little bit of- Just a little. Just yeah. a little bit of the fabric, yeah. just a little bit of the stuffing. Have you noticed, dear viewers, how my gorgeous scissors have migrated to that side? <laughs> nice try, Keza. <laughs> Nice I'm, try. I'm well known for that. Uh, oh, I am with pens. Yeah. Don't ever give me a pen no. and expect it back. No. <laughs> That's what I say to the kids. Don't ever let me have a little pen. No. Oh, Rosina's got in touch to say, I live in Mid Wales now, but, but I lived in Dudley for years, a language of their own. Do you know, once the staff performed, there's a, there's a published play called A Black Country Christmas. Oh, and yeah. it's the nativity done in black country dialect. Oh yeah, my granddad Amazing. used to buy the black country Amazing. bugle. Oh yes. And yes. Even though of course that's where I, I couldn't understand it. No, but it's fab, isn't it? And whenever I found him and said granddad where are you? He was always at the black os. <laughs> black os. Always at the black os. Oh, was that uh, up the cut or down the line? <laughs> Down the cut. <laughs> down the cut, sorry. I always got them round the wrong, up the lie, or down the cut. Down the cut. Oh, it makes me so happy because we moved around because yeah. Craig was in the army. Yeah. I really missed it. So when we moved back, I was like, oh, I've missed home. It grounds you, doesn't yeah, it? Very Hearing much so. familiar language and familiar accents and that kind of thing. It really does ground you. So I'm just lining this up. I'm making it look more difficult than it is. There we go. A good pin helps, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So just placing this, so if I just show you, I've aligned this onto the side here. This is the little pin cushion along the raw edge of the zipper and I'm going to sew to secure this into place. Mm -hmm. So kind of squish the squish filling out the, the way. Filling. And before we sew across there, just trap that under the needle, nice and gently through there because we've got lots of layers, especially where that binding is. Yes. Hey, message coming across the screen. Hi, Stuart and Kerry. Great shows. Just heard you say Mummy Hill has broken her leg. I hope she's better soon. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. Well, she's just had the most amazing care. The paramedics were fabulous. The wonderful doctors, Mohammed and Thomas, who looked after her when she first went in, were so reassuring, so kind. All the lovely nurses and care assistants, she's just had superb care. And... You know, my mum is just loving having the all attention. of the people around her. Yeah. Well, just, you know, the people around her as well, because, you know, she lives on her own now. And um, so, you know, she's definitely 
I think seeing it, the silver lining. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And being very brave. Now, June, oh, June has messaged in, got the panel. It will be my first project on my 680 from Elna. Oh, Kerry Mason looks so easy, love June. I was thinking, have I got the 680? Make it look so it easy. It's a nice, easy Stick panel. around for the next hour. I'm going to show you the 680. There you go. So the next thing that I've done is I've just folded this back on itself. This hides that seam and we're simply just going to zigzag stitch around those folded edges to secure this into place. Or you could do a straight stitch if you wanted to. But any opportunity to do a zigzag. It's important that that folded edge there is right on that raw edge. Mm -hmm. And then all that's left to do is to bind the project. So same skills as we used on the bit pocket. Yes but just all the way around the outside That's edge. That's right, yeah. And you're just binding a rectangle. That's it. Fab. So just be careful when you arrive at the zip. So I've moved the zip out of the way. The zip's the right size to make sure my needle's not going to come into contact with that uh, silver part on the end of the zipper. But just take it nice and slowly. And here, it's a little bit tight on the binding, so I'm just going to bring that across to make sure I'm just covering the edge of that binding there. You do make all this look very easy. <laughs> very achievable. There we go. So we've got your pockets for your accessories now. Mm -hmm. So we have your accessory pockets on the end there. We've got that little zipper pocket here to pop in your Super. rolling hem. There you go. Now I know what you're talking about. <laughs> We've got a little bit. I just think. Is that what you do do? <laughs> it's what I do do. <laughs> And then finally, we've got this. Now, I had this for my thread catcher. I mean, I've never managed to fill it up with all the threads. <laughs> but I was getting so frustrated with sitting. I think oh, I yeah. was actually, and I was just sort of. Well, it requires them to the less aim. Less aim, yeah, there we go. go. Less aim. But it is also very good. I did make this for a friend for your little, little snacks. balls of snacks. Great for your Doritos, just a bit. What did so we say earlier? Bag of, a, bag of, a bag of nachos. <laughs> bag of nachos. Just might need to odour coat it to protect your beautiful Yeah, what I'm thinking is they stay in the bag and just pop them in there. No, you have to keep yeah. it full. Or yarn if you're crocheting. Well, I was thinking, yeah, yarn, but obviously I'm not a knitter. Or I was thinking, would yarn fit in there? Would they be? You would have to. No, some... you only made one thing and it was wobbly. <laughs> Actually, I did make two things. I was going to make a blanket mm -hmm. for my daughter. Right. I think she was about six at the well, time. Well, she didn't use the bag handle, so why would she? Well, why would she? So, well, this was before the bag handle episode. So I crocheted. It was going to be a blanket when she was about six she's in 16 next week she's still only got a bookmark <laughs> she's having a bookmark in fact it was We've all done it. a tiny little book you know a really tiny little book mm. but I'm very proud of that bookmark I'll have you know. this is your binding right this is your binding so for your three so you've got three strips of your binding I am draw uh, sewing these raw edge to raw edge to create your um, binding there mm -hmm. now to finish off your binding all i do on here is to just fold uh, this over by half an inch and then we're folding this in half to create the binding and for this one i would really recommend especially uh, for this area there's far too many layers to be doing a zigzag stitch lots of the projects that we create we do finish with a zigzag stitch but for this one um, I did finish with a hand, hand line, sew. Hand sew so machine it to one side. Machine to one side from the, the front back. and then uh, folding it over to the back. Perfect. But what a neat project. It's just brilliant. You can really see how that comes together. I love that combination of fabrics. Isn't it fabulous? I'll just hold it so you can see it at home. Really fun and a great project, like you said, to make in yeah. an evening or a weekend. Which one shall we send you, Mum? Big bit bag. Can we send her the purple one, please? Yeah. That would be lovely. Then I don't have to stay. Stay there behind. There you go. There <laughs> you go. Oh no, no, no! You can have. You can have an early bath. <laughs> You're off. Yeah. We've got to go and get ready for Malvern now. Yes, Malvern quilt Malvern? show. I might try and visit on Sunday, try. but I will probably be visiting Mum. Oh, okay. So I might not. I'm back here on Monday, so I will be coming down on Sunday. But yeah, I'll try if I can. I try love Try if Malfin. you can. Well, come and say hello. Do you know what stand you number you're on? 119, 118, 19 and 120. Fabulous.
great. Oh, she's taking over the show. That's, mo <laughs> that's most of the South Wing, isn't it? No. <laughs> Fabulous. Have a great time, won't you? I will do. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for a lovely show. Absolute angel. Loved it. Loved it. Now then, um, let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Goodbye. Okay. Accessory rolls. We have two different options for you. Now remember the accessory roll, great little organising kit. We'll start with this colourway, which is the teal. Really gorgeous, gorgeous daisies in the lining and those beautiful big sort of overblown blossoms on the outside. Okay, let me find the right one. Hey, first time. I'm getting good at this. So you get everything you need, just add thread. So you've got your pattern, full instructions, make it again and again and again. Then you've got your quilt batting that goes inside, you've got some grow grain ribbon that creates your closure, and then you've got two fat quarters, one of the large scale print, one of the daisy print, everything you need, everything you need. All in a kit for $15.99. Brilliant price that, absolutely superb. And again, it's the kind of thing, make it once using the fabrics that are included and then make it again and again. Very giftable. Price is fantastic, isn't it? Price is amazing. Now the other colorway that we've got is the darker blue floral. And then it's got that gorgeous um, raspberry smaller scale print. So those are your uh, fabric combinations. You've got a fat quarter of each. Now, if you want to use the raspberry on the outside and the large floral, blue floral inside, you can do that. You can mix and match to your heart's content. You get grow grain ribbon, you get your batting, you get your full pattern, all included, 15 99 Don't forget to check out your baskets on those. They've been ever so popular. Everything you've done today has been very popular, Kerry. Absolutely wonderful, lovely. Now we're going to come back after the break and when we do we're going to have the Elna 680 plus we've also got cafe extra wide backings and we've got that fabulous batting joining tape and i'll show you how to use it and also single and double-sided bosal in our form so don't go away last hour coming up have you heard about yarn lane a tv show dedicated to knitting crochet and all things yarn bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com Town Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com.
You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello there, welcome back to Sewing Street for our final hour on this gorgeous Tuesday. Uh, I'm Stuart Hillard, it's wonderful to have your company today and thank you so much everyone who's got in touch this morning. Now, this hour is all about really important tools. We've got the wonderful Elna 680 Plus on the show, but I want to start with something which I think really every quilt or every bag maker could do with. It's only just back in stock and I want to give you a quick demo on how to use it. It's quilt 
batting seam tape. Um, we've already sold well over three quarters of the stock, so if you do want some, be really quick. Now, um, we've all got bits and bobs of batting, haven't we? When we trim off the sides of a quilt or just trim it down, and um, I know it's quite tempting just to either throw these pieces away or to put them in a bag or a box or they clog up the cupboards and we say we'll use them and then we never do. So I want to show you how you're going to use them to actually piece your batting together for a quilt and I'm not just talking about for a small quilt I'm talking about for a king size quilt as well and what you want to do first of all is the, the, the strips that you're going to join or the pieces that you're going to join you want to square the edge up okay so that they're going to fit together really nicely so I've just layered those together you could cut them individually and I just want them so that they can butt up I'm going to move everything over very slightly so you get a better view so this now butts together really neatly I'm going to flip my board over to my ironing side there we go so I'm going to put my edges together now the batting tape the joining tape is made by Bosal and um, it has almost, it's almost like a sort of fabric-y feel. Um, one side of it is smoother and shinier than the other, which feels a bit rough. And if you've ever used any sort of interfacings or violins or anything like that, you'll know, you'll associate that rough side with the glue side. So what you want to do is cut a piece of tape to the length of the join that you're making. So I'll just snip that off and then you're going to lay that down over the top. Now have a close look here. I've just butted those two edges together. What you want to avoid is a gap. You also want to avoid an overlap as well. And then I'm going to put my batting tape straight over the top. Now you can see it's reasonably wide, it's about an inch and a half wide, so another thing that I often do when I'm joining batting, especially larger pieces, is to cut a slightly curving line, just a gently curving line, which um, kind of disguises where there's a join. And then the last thing you need to do is just to fuse those layers together just with an iron, and I'm using a cotton setting iron. And that batting is now joined. Now I think it's a really good idea to flip that over and double up. So join on both sides. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing and this just helps to create a really, I mean that tape not only joins the batting together but it also covers up any little valley that there might be between the two pieces so that when you actually layer and quilt this it looks like you've just used a whole piece of batting all right and those pieces now are perfectly joined it is perfectly smooth and flat there is no kind of ridge ripple scar nothing at all okay it's absolutely seamless i haven't had to hand stitch i haven't had to try any other kind of zigzagging which you can always tell if they've been zigzagged together it's totally seamless and really gives you a gorgeous invisible join now for 7.99 what you've got to think of, <laughs> I would think definitely and do, is all those little pieces of batting which are just sitting there are A, clogging up your cupboards, your drawers, space for fabric, <laughs> basically. Lovely space for fabric or other things, right? Also, trust me on this, you're never going to use it as little bits, okay? Because you just keep making other projects and you just keep adding to it. Have a day where you get your batting out cut it up into pieces, do that jigsaw puzzle and baste it together or seam it together using this tape and actually use that quilt in your next quilt project. If you can use this diagonally, you can use it straight. Like I say, if you've got a slightly jaggedy line, if I just show you here, so sometimes what I'll do is just to create just a gently wobbling line sometimes this can be this can make it easier if you want to um, you can use this actually as a in a quilt as you go technique 
Um, less than 20 of these left now, by the way. You can do a quilt as you go technique with this as well. So what you would do is um, make your whole quilt top and then layer it with batting and backing, okay? And then um, baste the center third of your quilt. Okay, so this might be the center. So you've laid your whole quilt up, batting and backing and top. Okay, then you're going to peel back the top and then you're going to trim away just the batting with a curved line either side. So you've only got batting in the center of your quilt. Quilt that, then baste this third back in, layer it back up, quilt this and then the other side as well the same. Okay, you're going to miss out if you don't check out right now. People are missing out because we have now really sold out. Yeah. Just Brill. Okay, fab. Well done if you got yours. Hero product. Absolute hero product. All right, now we've got some fabulous extra wide backings from Kaif. Now, some of these have already sold out, so I'll just have to tell you what we've got and what we haven't got. Have we got. No, gone. Great. Good. So we've got three. Super. Now, width-wise, this extra wide backing is 108 inches. So I think that's 124 centimeters. This is absolutely glorious. It's almost like a cotton sateen. In fact, I think it is called a cotton sateen, isn't it? Yep. So it's got a slight sheen on it. Let me just flip this out. Nearly. Like a ninja, did you see that? Never moved so fast. Isn't that amazing? Now, we're talking extra wide backing here, but this could be a Roman blind, a roller blind. These could be curtains. This could be a duvet cover. This could be a dust ruffle around the bottom of the bed. This could be made to create a whole cloth quilt. Have this on the top, plain fabric on the back, quilt it, bind it, you're done. But as a quilt backing for one of your amazing kaif creations, or Alison Glass, or, you know, any of your other designers that use those bright, juicy, vibrant colours, um, absolutely brilliant. And of course, no piecing required, which is my one job I don't like doing. Beautiful. Um, color wise in there, you've got really deep magenta and hot pink. You've got some orange in there as well. Let me just move it over so you can get a good look at the colors. Um, so you've got magenta and hot pink. You've got deep orange and a lighter orange too. Uh, you've got this more kind of peachy apricot tone. And then you've got some puce. You've got a little bit of black in there as well. Really dramatic. What about using this for dressmaking? I'm wondering if a, a more of a dressing gown in the traditional sense, not the kind of bathrobe, but that sort of quilted or quite yeah, heavy dressing gown, a house coat, <laughs> a house coat. Um, I don't know why I'm laughing, I love a house coat or a quilted bed jacket. Um, what about for dressmaking? What about making a dress out of this or lining a jacket or a coat lining in this would be sensational. It's 13 99 per half metre and half the stock has gone. It's going to be like that, folks. Mm. You might just want to make some lovely cushions and a half a metre would certainly make you four or six cushions, wouldn't it? Now, a gorgeous, bright sky blue, then mixed with the most delicious greens and pinks and purples. These are all based on quilt weight cotton fabrics, prints, but at a smaller scale that Kaif does anyway, that are in his regular collections. So if you want to sort of team with that theme, uh, you can, but they also just work beautifully. How sensational is that? Absolutely gorgeous. Now you might use this for the borders on a quilt, 
If you were going to use this for the borders, what I would recommend is that you cut the long borders, if it's a rectangular quilt, um, if you've got 90 inch sides to your quilt, cut those out first. I mean, basically they're all going to be cut on the lengthwise grain. What this does is it means that a half meter or a meter of fabric would do lengthwise grain, no join borders on a big quilt. If you had a large scale pattern and you wanted to put a border on a quilt and you were using regular width fabric, you would either have to join crosswise strips, which I've never got pattern matching that good that you can't see it, and also I don't like doing it. Um, but also the lengthwise grain on your fabric um, is stronger. So I would always recommend that anyway. You're using the crosswise grain on this, but you've got 104 inches to play with. So you can get those full borders with no seaming. A message. Hello, sunshine. Hello, Carol. The value of these backing fabrics is awesome. They make an awesome backing, uh, a bucket. They make awesome bucket hats for the summer. Oh gosh, that's a fantastic idea. Yeah, I mean, if you just want a really economical fabric, because let's be honest, this is almost the equivalent of three widths of fabric. Three widths of fabric would be 120 inches or so. This is 104. So it's certainly more than two and a half widths of fabric. Um, but also because you've got a continuous piece of fabric, if you're doing multiples of the same thing, you can get more across the width of the fabric. You haven't got those annoying little bits left over at either side of every, every width of fabric. Really great value. Also, let's think about the summer. What about creating a wigwam or a tent for in the garden for the kids to play in? Um, that would be amazing. What about a windbreak? to have when you go picnicking or go to the beach you'll be able to find us kids we're over here check out that i mean amazing what about things like um new cushions for the sun loungers or for the garden furniture because we're talking actually quite a lot of fabric for bench seats and you've probably got more than one and uh, that can add up, whereas this fabric, because it's 104 inches wide, you're going to need much less of it. If you do curtains and blinds and you're used to having to join two, two and a half widths per curtain, uh, forget it. You can just use extra wide fabric, no seam. What about Roman blinds? Now, I love a Roman blind and you can join fabric to make Roman blinds, but rather than one seam, you end up with two because you want a full width in the centre and then part um, panels at either side joined together. Um, with this, you could do basically any width of window couldn't you in one full panel no joins i mean just the ways in which you can use this fabric just go on and on even if you wanted to make things like table runner placemats napkins for a party how many napkins could you get out of one half meter of fabric if you did all of your can i just 104 inches divided by 18 what would that be, please? 100, 104 inches divided by 18. I'm just thinking how many, I mean, they'd really, be really big napkins, 18 inch square napkins divided by 18. 5.77. Okay, so almost six napkins. So I'd probably then go, maybe go 16 or 17 inch square and get six. So six big napkins out of half a metre of fabric. Well, six beautiful K-Facet napkins. Could you buy those for £13.99? I don't think so. What about table cover? What about tablecloths? Especially if you're, you know, for things like Christmas, birthdays, celebrations, parties, weddings. Um, we tend to get any table that's available, don't we? Even if it's the one from the shed, and all the varnish has come off because you've stood different things on top of it in the shed. We need a lovely cover for it. Now, this next fabric, this is, oh, beautiful, bright pastels on a gray background. 
for me, it's very much taking me back to the 80s in a very good way. But it is that combination of bright pastels and a bold design. Isn't that gorgeous? I do think a dress, quite a fitted dress in this would be beautiful. Quite a fitted dress with a, maybe a sweetheart neckline, little cap sleeves, beautiful. And then pick out one of the colours for a little belt over the top, maybe in the, in the lilac or a soft grey even would be lovely. Fab. Again, 13.99 per half metre. If you multi-buy on this, remember it comes in one continuous piece, so no joining required. If you want to sort of pre-buy this ready for a quilt, I would say that three metres is going to do for the vast majority of projects. Big quilts. Okay. But if you're making a wall hanging or something like that, obviously you'll need less. Now then, while we're talking about finishing quilts, We've joined our batting, we've got our backing fabric. How are we gonna layer? 505, one of my absolute hero products. 505 is the kind of thing I never ever want to run out of. From Odif. Now this is a quilt basting spray. You're gonna use this if you've never used it before. You're going to use this to layer your top, your batting and your backing together. Rather than having to use uh, curved safety pins or hand basting stitch you're going to spray the batting with this and lay the quilt top and the backing onto it and it will hold those layers together now it's a temporary hold but when we say a temporary hold I simply mean it's not a permanent glue <coughs> excuse me so when you wash your quilt all of the um, spray will come out and the layers would come apart so obviously you still need to quilt it but if you've ever wondered, you know, well, if I layer my quilt up with 505, how quickly do I need to get it finished before it's all going to start coming apart? Well, as long as you've used it correctly, it's not going to come apart until you wash it. Um, so it will stay together, whether it's weeks, months, I guess even years. Never left a quilt that long, I'll be honest with you. But I've certainly used it and it's held layers together for many, many months. Um, Spray it like you would hairspray, a fine even mist from about 12 to 15 inches away from the batting. Now then, the sewing machine, the sewing machine. Shall I move it over? Okay, so we're looking now at the Elna 680 Plus. Now this is the machine that John Scott has, isn't it? I have the 680 and I've got to be honest with you, I have used that machine to within an inch of its life. Um, I may, I wrote Bags for Life using the Elna 680 Plus because it's the machine that I'd got at home and um, just fantastic. Went through all those thick layers, creating thick handles, thick bags, sewing multiple layers of fabric, lining, interfacing, bosal, um, uh, Decaville, went through all of them, didn't have any problems at all. Now, you've got a two year warranty with your machine. It's a fantastically sturdy and robust machine as well. Now, um, you get 170 different stitches on your machine, including two alphabets, numbers, punctuation, all of that. You get um, all the decorative stitch, all the, sorry, utility stitches you could possibly need. I think if I'm right, 10 buttonholes. I think it's 10. Um, yep, 10 buttonholes, thank you. All one step buttonholes. So literally, install the buttonhole foot, choose the buttonhole, choose the length of buttonhole, and then stitch. When it comes to sewing your buttonholes, let me just show you. You have a little section in the back for sizing, so for placing your button, for sizing the button 
and then that will determine the size of your buttonhole. So you, you don't even have to do that really, you just put the button in and the, the sewing machine knows how big to do the buttonhole. Um, which is brill. I love anything that makes my life easier with things like that. Um, and then if you're sewing seven, nine, 13 buttonholes down the center of a shirt or a blouse, every single one of them will be the same size. Just makes for such a prof professional finish. Now, I think the thing that I love most about um, my Elna 680 are the feet that come with it and the functionality that you get with that. Now, do we have a slide with the feet on, please? I can't just remember them all. <laughs> I can try. I can try. Listen, there should be another one. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, I'll start talking you through them while we're finding it. So you get things like, for me, most importantly, here it is, here it is. Most importantly, uh, I can't read that, sorry, it's too small. Can I have it on the other screen as well? Thank you. Okay, so you get things like, I can see that, it's fine, I can see that. Uh, you get your walking foot, you get your quarter inch foot, you get your darning free motion foot as well. So quilters, bag makers, home decor, machine embroiderers, we've got you covered. You also get things like a blind hem foot, and zipper foot, rolled hem foot for dressmaking in particular. You also get things like an overlocking foot. Now that, what that does is it holds the edge of your fabrics down so that when you're doing your zigzag or your overlocking stitch, and there are a, quite a number on the machine, um, your fabric doesn't wrinkle, pucker, roll, fold. If you've ever tried doing a zigzag, just a standard zigzag with a standard foot over seam allowances, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. It never works. It wrinkles, it folds, it tucks the fabric. With your overlock foot that you get included with your 680, you won't get that. You'll get a perfect hem. Uh, you also get, when it, I was talking about the darning foot, you actually get... Um, an adaptable darning foot. So it's actually got three different feet. It's a shank with a spring on it. And then you get three different feet that attach to it. You get a closed toe embroidery or darning foot. You get an open toed and then you get a clear view foot. I always call that the big foot. And I'll show you that in a second. Now you're gonna use those feet for things like free motion quilting, free motion embroidery, free motion applique and you'll also use it for um, you know where it got its name from darning so if you're mending um, a hole in something and you're stitching you can stitch forward and back side to side round in circles whatever you need to do it's also a great thing to do if you want to personalize items so for example Kerry had her lovely pattern file uh, that said, um, I think it said something like uh, paper patterns or storage or sewing patterns on. Now you could free motion stitch that. You could add little flowers. You could add, you know, almost like doodles to your work. I'll just show you this. This is the, what I call the big foot and they call the clear view foot. So I'll just show you that. Okay. You see why I call it the big foot, can't you? <laughs> but what this does is, I love the fact that it's got that bullseye. So for example, if you've got to start or finish in a particular spot, it's really useful. But also because of this large flat surface, what it does is it holds a much greater surface area of your quilt flat and still while you're quilting it. And as it's moving, it's kind of flattening out the surface that you're stitching on, which creates a flatter, more even quilt. The other thing is when you're quilting the very edge of your quilt, now obviously you've left some extra batting, some extra backing fabric, but when you actually come to sew over the very edge of your quilt top, if you use a normal quilting foot, that quilting foot can slip under the fabric and end up flipping it over and 
stitching it down, which you don't want. The big foot, the, the clear view foot, will hold more of that area down. So I've never flipped the edge of my quilt while I've been sewing. So just really, really useful. And you get it included. I do really love my machine. I love my 680. The, the few things that have been added on actually to the 680 plus, one of the things is you've got a straight stitch needle plate that you can change to. Now, if you're doing a lot of piecing or a lot of straight line stitching, um, it's a very good idea actually to change to a straight stitch needle plate. You'll get a straighter stitch. Um, you'll also um, avoid that gobbling up of fabric that you sometimes get in your machine. So if you're doing lots of half square triangles, pop the straight stitch needle plate on. Now, the one disadvantage of a straight stitch needle plate is that where your standard one has got a slot, so when your needle is doing things like a zigzag or a decorative stitch, it moves through that slot. When it's a straight stitch needle plate, it's literally one little hole and all it's designed is for that needle to go up and down. You do get both, of course, with this machine. The old problem with straight stitch needle plates was if you left it on by mistake and then picked a zigzag, the very first stitch you took, bang, straight into metal, break your needle, could potentially break the timing on your machine. When you install the straight stitch needle plate on the 680 Plus, the computer is aware of it. You don't have to tell it. It's aware that that needle plate is in place and it will freeze out any stitch that you can't use with a straight stitch needle plate. If you look up here, this little bit here that's marked in red, your machine knows these are the only stitches that will work with a straight stitch plate. It will not allow you to select any others. That is fab. If you've ever broken the timing on your machine and had to pay for that repair, you'll understand why that is such a boon absolutely fab and the straight stitch needle plate is absolute simplicity itself to change you can of course drop your ink dogs for free motion stitching there's your straight stitch needle plate by the way if you're wondering where it's stored okay it's just down there um, and there's your free arm for doing things like making bags or sewing hems on jeans or anything like that really and then when you want to drop your feed dogs if you've got if you've had brothers or bananas things like that you'll be used to a button around the back of the machine on the elna it's different it's actually here on the side so it's this switch right here you'll come to recognize it it's got the little teeth up and down and I just want to show you one quick thing. Now, this is true of all machines, but it's worth pointing out to avoid the stress of thinking that you've broken your machine. OK, if you just watch the feed dogs, I'm going to tilt this forward. Just one second. I'm going to tilt this forward. OK, so when you drop your feed do dogs, just watch the teeth. When you drop the feed dogs, OK, they drop out of place. When you re-engage the feed dogs, I've re-engaged them, nothing happens. They didn't reappear. When you take your first stitch, your feed dogs automatically pop back up again. So you drop them, re-engage them, and then it's not until you take that first stitch that the feed dogs will pop back up again. Yeah, so don't worry about it. And if you ever come to do some sewing and your fabric isn't feeding through your machine, it's the first thing you should check. Have you re-engaged the feed dogs? So have they got knocked down um, by mistake? Just check that, turn the wheel to bring the feed dogs back up again. I did have one quick confession. I did have, I had done, I mean, years of sewing. And I, and I must confess now, I had never taken the needle plate out and cleaned the, the race. And my fabric just was not feeding. And I thought, well, I'm gonna have to change this machine. It's just not feeding anymore and I, you know, and I thought, perhaps I should just clean it before I do that. When I took the needle plate off, I really had made my own piece of wool felt. OK, I could have sold a shoe with it. Um, took that out, gave it a clean, put the needle plate back in, and it was like having a brand new machine. So I'm, I'm, I've learned 
from my own silliness and my own um, avoidance. It's a really easy job to clean out the, the sew machine. Do it regularly, do it every time you change the needle and, you, and your machine will always work beautifully. Gorgeous machine, seriously gorgeous machine. Now, Bosel in our form, absolutely superb. Now this one right here is a sewing, so that's not it. Is it this one over here? Uh, I got it, I got it. Yep, perfect. Well, it's really easy to see whether something in our form is fusible or not. If it's the non-fusible side, will feel very smooth, almost like jersey, or um, just very, very smooth indeed. The fusible side, feels a bit more rough, slightly rougher, and a bit shiny. Now, if you've never used it before, let me just show you what it is. I'm gonna hold it up so you can just see. It's a thin, fusible, or non-fusible, foam core, okay? Um, it's pretty thin, it's just a few mil wide, but what it does is it provides the most amazing structure for bags, in particular for bags. So I've used it a lot. I've got um, my book Bags for Life right here. I've used it for a lot of bags in the book. So for example, things like the Weekend Warrior bag, um, something where you want really good structure. And, and that bag actually was empty for the photo shoot. It wasn't full of stuff. It wasn't full of stuff. It's, um, that was empty. Okay, but it holds its structure, it holds its shape, but it is infinitely sewable, crushable. You know, when you come to sew this, it is not difficult to sew at all. You can crush it up, whatever, fold it down, and then it just bounces back into shape. So whatever you need to do to get it flat for under your machine, just do it. Um, you rarely need to use a walking foot. For your basic construction of your bags, I would recommend you just use your regular foot or your quarter inch foot, for example, if you're using a quarter inch seam. If you're doing that final sewing together where you're sort of putting, I don't know, a flap inside, you know, multiple layers and you're sewing through all of that, you might put on a walking foot. I tend not to, but you can. You can also quilt it. So if you're gonna quilt it for a bag, um, layer it together. Um, this is when single-sided fusible is really useful actually, because I would put the outside fabric or the patchwork fabric, whatever's going on the outside of the bag, onto the fusible side and fuse it down. Then quilt it. The fact that you've got this lovely smooth side on the back, it's going to travel through your sewing machine absolutely beautifully. It's not going to catch or skag. You don't need to put something like calico or a lining fabric on the back. So you can quilt it, make up your outer bag, make up your lining separately, and then put the two together. If you want to do a bag which has kind of the lining is quilted to the outer as well with, with, um, with the in our form inside and then maybe bound uh, seams then I would fuse the outer fabric to the fusible side and then use 505 on the non-fusible to hold the lining in place. If you're using the one which is a complete sew-in to hold your layers together again I would really recommend 505. Spray the in our form, lay the fabric on top rather than spraying fabric. So fabulous structure, boxes, baskets, bags. You can also use it if you're doing things like, you know, computer bags, tablet bags, even sunglass and eyeglass cases. The foam creates that bit of extra padding, that bit of extra protection that you wouldn't get the same protection from quilt batting, for example. Um, it's also really good for things like drinks, uh, or bottle bags or carriers because the thicker foam has just that little bit more insulating property to it as well. Really, again, one of my absolute hero products. Now we've also got a sew-in, a sew-in version. And, um, you know, this is really where 
if you want to use this without a fusible so no 505 then I would pin fabrics to this and then I would actually stitch a quarter of an inch uh, sorry less than a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside of the shape to hold the layers together and I would use a walking foot for that um, you know sewing is a, a useful option if you're if you don't want the layers sort of held together so for example um, if you're not going to quilt it um, if you I'm just trying to think of other ways where you would use the sewing I suppose if you were using a, a delicate fabric that you couldn't iron as such so for example yeah absolutely so if you were using something like PU or um, like an oil cloth where you can't iron that to the fabric you would use the sewing I mean you can use the 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 fusible and not fuse but yeah you could use it for that there we go we worked it out now there's sometimes some confusion between this and H640 or I'm, I'm actually asked a lot can I substitute H640 for in our form well it very much depends on the project and the effect that you want or that you'll be happy with this is H640 now H640 really is a fusible fleece these are pre-cut half meter pieces this is the smallest option we, we've started doing smaller options because I mean that would be plenty for a, a small bag wouldn't it something like a small messenger bag you'd probably get out of that um, it's really like a fusible quilt batting um, it's got a little bit more structure than a quilt batting because it ha is a polyester so it has a little bit more loft and a little bit more stiffness but it's not stiff but just a little bit more structure to it but nothing like as much as the in our form foam now I would still use this for things like wall hangings it's really good for because actually that little bit of extra firmness to it will help to hold a wall hanging sort of square and straight rather than rippling if you use quilt batting for a wall hanging there is a tendency for the lower edge to ripple try using H640 instead Another benefit of using it in place of quilt batting is that it has a fusible side. So rather than having to use a separate fusible like 505 spray, you can layer your quilt onto this and fuse it. There's a dot side, that's the fusible side. The other side is not fusible. So you would still need to either use pins or, or something like that on the other side. Um, the other thing you can use this for, you know, things like tea cozies and... Um, like technology covers like um, toaster cover, food mixer cover, that kind of thing, it works well. You can also use it for things like chair backs um, or just for a sort of, a, if you make something like a patchwork cushion cover, um, I wouldn't ever just use patchwork with a backing on as a cushion cover. Um, I would always put some H640 or some batting onto the back of it um, and just do a little bit of quilting just hold those layers together you'll get a much better finish much more professional finish if you do that a message from Tracy hi Stuart sorry missed you earlier I'm at work on my lunch break love and kisses to your mum from Tracy in Ghoul oh that's really lovely thank you I will send her kisses I will give her kisses uh, that's very kind of you thank you that's where I have my studio in Ghoul Tracy knew that <laughs> Tracy knows that ah oh, thank you now then um Another thing that we've got, um, our Quilter's Deck. Now, did we have an open box of this? The Quilter's Cards. We'll just have a look for that. While we're looking for that, can I just show you the scissors? Now, it's a really smart idea, I think, to have multiple pairs of scissors, especially when you can get them at such an amazing price. These three pairs are 8 dollars 
for all three pairs. You've got the large dressmaking, you've got the medium size multi-purpose, and then you've got the small general purpose. These would also be really useful for things like cutting your embroidery floss or your threads, trimming, small trimming jobs, great for things like cutting off the dog ears on patchwork, much quicker than using a rotary cutter. Uh, dressmaking shears, of course, for cutting out your larger projects. And then multi-use scissors. Don't forget, of course, if you want general purpose scissors, paper, card, maybe ones to use when you're doing your foundation or EPP. Uh, for $8.99, can't really go wrong, can you? Really fab. And a great hot pink. Um, these have a soft um, squidgy lining to the uh, handles. So they're nice and soft on your hands. Um, so if you've got lots of cutting out to do, they're going to be comfy as well. Fab. Very good value. Now we don't have an open box of the cards. Am I okay to open this one? Jolly good. Now these cards, what you get is you get 40. I need some scissors. There we go. Uh, you get 40 different quilt blocks and you get each quilt block in five different sizes. Let me show you. Oh, lots of wrappings. Thank goodness I've got my scissors handy. Okay, right, so these really help us all to be quilt designers. Okay, so what you're getting in here, I mean, you've got that great storage box, of course, to keep them in. But then what you've got inside are 40 blocks, and each of the blocks is set out like this. So you've got the block on top in grayscale, and then underneath, this is the art square. You've got a line drawing, a grayscale, an exploded piecing, and then just a kind of suggestion for value or colour. Underneath that, you've then got all of your cut sizes, what you need in a 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch and 36 inch version. Every single one of the 40 blocks is available in those same sizes, so you can mix and match to your heart's content. Now, I'll just show you some of the blocks that you've got. Lovely little basket there different stars love that double star wow is that carpenters oh they've called it dutch rose the heart nice little jacob's ladder yeah very good the jewel box i think there's that dutchman's puzzle oh they've called it mosaic different names there's a puss in the corner nine patch variation <laughs> this just proves there are so many different double windmill old windmill so many different names for different um patches now this one remember you're getting each of these in sizes 6 8 10 12 and 36 inch now imagine that done as a 36 inch block just one of those with a border there's your baby quilt all done imagine four of those sewn together there's your double bed quilt fab so loads and loads of different patterns like that one the barrister's block very cool is that Churn dash, there you go. That was on the tip of your tongue, wasn't it? That was on the tip of our producer's tongue. Charlie just calls everything an Ohio star. <laughs> Bless him. The friendship star, that's lovely. Like that Washington sidewalk. So there's your 40 blocks. Then what you've got is these sort of like information cards. So you've got how to use the block charts and an, exp an explanation. Then you've got eight different layouts for your quilts. How to combine them to create a different kind of sampler quilt. And then you've also got things like how to set your blocks on point and what size you would cut side and corner triangles. That's worth its weight in gold. How to do binding how to create half and quarter square triangles and also a lining and then also how to figure the amount of fabric that you'll need for making a quilt. It's a really useful little tool this and it's just 14 
Bruce is going to get one. Our director, Bruce, is going to get one for his mother-in-law for Christmas. Um, hopefully she isn't watching. Otherwise, I have just ruined Christmas for everybody. Oh, lovely. So that's your card deck. Love that. Now then, we've also got, and we've talked a lot about sort of making and finishing quilts. These are the So Easy thread set. Now what you're getting here is a set of 10, 10 different threads. Now you get, it's 100% cotton thread, ideal for patchwork and quilting. And excuse me, each of the reels, excuse me, is 500 meters. So you're getting 5,000 meters of thread in total for 14.99. Uh, brilliant, brilliant value. <coughs> what is that? Uh, one fifty, isn't it? It's one pound fifty a reel. Is that right? That's right, isn't it? 10 reels, £1.50 a reel for 500 metres. Colour-wise, you're getting white, beige, gold, hot pink, red, mint, ecru, navy, mid-grey and black. Now, I would say absolute, like, time and time again, colours I'm going to use for piecing and quilting are those neutrals. But also, that golden yellow fabulous um well the bright pink the red those are brilliant if you're quilting brights yellow pink red absolutely superb colors for quilting brights um your soft green i mean that would be great for for those softer tones and again piecing applique quilting suitable for all of those jobs it's a 50 weight and I've never used so easy thread, I'll be honest, but I love their rulers. This is one of my rulers that I bring in myself, and it is a so easy ruler. Love it. Um, it's time for the menu. I don't know where the morning has gone. Well, I do. We've spent it together, and I'm very grateful for your company. Let's look at the menu for tomorrow. It's me again. Oh, yeah. 8 a.m. Tools back in stock. At 9 a.m., Korean patchwork quilting with Kara Ackerman. I'm as intrigued as you are. 9 a.m., we'll make a date. At 10, it's bag making supplies. Love it. At 11 o'clock, tomato pincushion and tote bag with Kara Ackerman. And then at 12, we've got Liberty and designer fabrics. I'm going to be all over them. All over them. Now then, what have you got planned for the rest of the day? Well, whatever you do, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm about to go and ring Mummy Hillard and tell her about all the love. Hopefully she's managed to catch this morning's shows. And I'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. bright and early. Take care. Bye-bye. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.